watching. Okay, hello, good evening everybody. Welcome to this stream, the grand finals between Merciless and um, MFA. Mullet Mafia, two amazing teams. They have been knocking their asses off during the, the, the group stages, the playoffs, to get in this grand final. And today is the big day. They will be playing. So um, I'm here joined by Arde, who's just hello, next everyone. to me. What's up? What's up, everyone? Great to have you. Uh, thank you for having me here, of course. And uh, we're going to have a blast together casting today's match. Um, I guess we're going to go straight into it, or we're going to discuss two, uh, a couple things before we, uh, before we start right off, Bobby. Uh, I think it's going to be instantly live, so the game is okay. going to get restarted right away. I'm going to switch to the screens, and it is, will be live right here. Okay, so we have... Merciless and MFA. Merciless will be starting the knife round. So right now the overlays are not right yet. I will switch for you as well, Arde. Yeah, thank you very much. It looks like we're seeing a knife round here, and it looks like Mullet Mafia will be taking this one, picking, sticking to the same side. It seems. Yeah, there we go. Sticking to the to the breach side. We'll be seeing a reset very soon. And there we go. Restarting the match. So it's Merciless starting on the CT side. I'm MMFA uh, getting that T side. Off we go. Well, starting off with the pistol rounds. No, and I haven't seen any crazy buys yet so far. Just P250s. Uh, that's all I'm hearing. I don't hear any deagles. Usually we do see deagles being bought early on in these matches. Uh, we see a push with the bomb, two towards elbow. We see a couple pushing from main towards that A site. Uh, and looks like they will be entering the site here, checking that little area. Sometimes they do tend to have a player or two there. And it looks like they'll have to they'll have to await this full rotation here from Merciless Mindline coming in with the first frag. Malik getting shut down. Zelo comes in with another one. Volgrant takes the second. Mosia gets shut down. And Merciless already down a few players. Looks like the retake is not going as successful as they may have been anticipating this. We got one player from main, Ottawa, getting shut down. Mindline tries to do his best, but Volgrant seems to be destroying the enemy here. And Bobby, looks like they've already gotten themselves that first round on the board. Yes, exactly. A very strong push and uh, on an empty site for uh, MFA. Daily Dave, aka Volgrant, already getting three kills in the entry, followed by Aki, Aki and um, Xello. So, means Merciless. I mean, one round down, but it's still an eco round. So, let's see what comes up next. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've got ourselves another full push towards that B site here, as we can see. Mullet Mafia going straight into SGs even. We can see armor being bought with an SG. That's a lot of cash they're, they're immediately using. Um, they're pretty confident, and it looks like they'll be planting this bomb very fast. No one's here to uh, to stop them. And we already see one player going down, Elouze. We got a full rotation coming up from Coalition Spawn. Yep, so far they're just waiting a bit out because they're still eco. Not very big guns in their hands, and they have every... Thing under lockdown, you see Shadow holding his mid position, holding his street, checking CT, not spotting anything out. They're just waiting for some picks. Mylan and Otto was both in the CT spawn. Ooh, and some player gets spotted on the bridge. Shadow is gonna get double peak, gonna get down by Mylan with the Deagle and Xello. Ooh, turning around, Mylan with the double kill. That's huge. Aki yeah, takes down one player. player Actually, he finds the both! With the double. <laughs> there is no is way. <laughs> that economical damage towards Mullet Mafia must be crazy as Merciless is able to take down four players in that eco round. I'm not sure if they're even going to have enough cash to buy some proper weapons or some arsenal. I mean, we can see some AK 47s, but of course, on Merciless' side, are they going to be able to get those SGs? We do see an AK coming up. Um. Are you looking for the opacity? The opacity, I think it's on general. There it is. Yeah, thank you. Yep, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> I was also no, nah, don't worry about it. It's it's a it's a common it's a common mistake I made early on as well. Uh, no issues there. You see that push coming in, Malik from uh, what seems to be upper catwalk. Check your sniper's nest. We do see a flash coming down. Malik does not want to fully push this through. And so far they're just playing for picks. So already stepping it back a bit. They got pretty confident there. I don't know what you think, Bobby, but buying so many weapons and then. Four of them going down, That's that must hurt their economy to some extent. Yeah, I mean, there's two new kind of teams. They're pretty fresh in the scene. So, um, back in this grand final, they're just waiting for the plays they're going to make. So, to know how they play for the rest of the games. Xello here finding a first pick on Mossy. I didn't see where because it was flashed. It seems like they're 
Still trying to get this pressure onto A site, but um, yeah, three players on this A site, only Dryad and Mylan on this B site, not doing anything so far. So now Shadow and his mate are crossing off towards A site to make this A push, together with Aki's going already in elbow as well. To the pistol round, I don't know if you've noticed it already, but this time we see three people towards elbow. Uh, so slightly different, but similar ideas coming up. We got Akix coming with that first pick, Lose shutting down Zelo. Volgren comes in shutting down to lose. Quick oh, refrag there with a the bomb down on the ground, this time ticking. And we've got Idreat. Idreat? Is that how you say it? Idreat? <laughs> That's an uh, interesting name for these players. Um, couple of slight, couple of, uh, couple of bullets there to going towards Malik, quickly shutting them down. Volgren also getting taken down, but that bomb is still ticking. Looks like they're just uh, playing it pretty safe. Well, they could have possibly turned this round around. You don't know. And these 1v1s seems to be, seem to be in their favor so far. Obviously, they are playing it safe. Yeah. And they're going to be waiting out the bomb. And, uh, I think the third round is going to go... Well, is gonna Shadow is getting really close here towards him. They're both in the scubby and they're not going to peek it. They're just going to play it safe. Now, we all know Merciless is one big aim house. They all have some really high gun power. It's really high gun gun skill. So, I think what we saw first, Mylan on 7 kills with this double deek or like this triple 4k he got in the second round. I mean, they have really the gun skill, they, they need to win this out. And as you can see, like every other game, every other round so far, they managed to get kills in the, in the late round, even if the bomb is planted, some exit frags and everything. But, um, yeah, it's gonna depend on the strats that are gonna be thrown. Some high focus put. On this upper. Is anyone really checking coalition spawn? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Seems kind of like an open area there. I mean, they could go for a push. We got two players on A. Got Zelo looking Oof. for Cafe, but no, never mind. There's my line. That's what you were talking about. There we go. There is Dry Out. I was about, I was about to say, is, is no one really checking any pushes that go could go to coalition spawn? But that's not the case. We got Dry Out from Sniper's Nest checking B long and Upper Catwalk at the same time. So that's definitely something we don't see too often. Um, we have an, another takedown here from Volgren, shutting down my line. Wins. Coming in with the four versus one, as Volgren beats the last player standing, gets shut down, and Mustia is able to get that final pick. And it looks like they finally got that fourth round on the board, one to three. And uh, Molot Mafia still in the lead, but getting hit a little bit on this fourth round. Yeah, I don't know what happened in this round. I mean, MFA got the rounds. They they know kind of what to do in these in these ways, but still. Hiding a bit. Smoke and a flash coming in on B long. It's a fast eco push on the B side. My line holding that. Getting a double dry it as well with a double kill. That knows where they at. And dry it. Finishing it off with a 3k in this round. Two rounds on the board so far for uh, Merciless. Two in a row. And one away from. Um, one away to catch up with um, MFA. Yeah, especially at Nate. I don't know if you saw it, but those were some quick eco frags. We do tend to see some spray downs that usually occur in these areas. Obviously, they got to get their economy back on the board. But uh, this was quite, quite violent. <coughs> I did not anticipate that Nate to do that much damage. They were very crowded. Um, and uh, no, it was just a free little round that they could uh, that they could take there. Merciless. Come in with that first pick. Mine line as well. Right at Volgren. Bringing it back to a five versus three. And it looks like, um, just some information here, Dry Art seems to be Vape, so uh, we'll be call I'll try to call him Vape from now on, it seems to be a little bit easier. Uh, we see a nade here again, pre-prepping that nade together with my line, Illuse coming in with a tap on Malik. Ooh, Vape, Coalition clean, wins. clean job there, Otto as well, coming in with that headshot on Akix, and they're bringing it back through 3 versus 3, look at that, uh, Bobby, it, it is, it is wonderful, you, you start to see that momentum, 3-0, and, oh, and Suddenly, after that fourth round, three things are starting to shift into a balanced state again. Yeah, it was a bit of a slow start, but I mean, problem adapt, improvise, overcome, right? So that's perfectly what Merciless did. Three rounds in a row is something is happening, I guess. Oh, there are some issues with the servers. Let's hope not. But I uh, see some I people AFK in spawn, so I don't know what's happening really. Malik here on the site, getting a first pick, flashing some in, oh, getting a flashback. Flashing, <laughs> flashing himself in the process as well. Uh, looks like we're having some issues though. Uh, Merciless is not able to move from spawn. Now still manage, managing to get the kill there. Malik and Volgren both get shut down. This is quite an uh, interesting situation here, Bobby. We're, we're seeing them at least kind of pull up a fight, put out a fight, even though they were all stuck there on collision spawn. The bomb is still ticking. We got Shadow down to the pistol. So, unable to pick up a weapon, kind of trying to save time. 
And um, yeah, his teammates are still trying to rotate over. They lose mm -hmm. ping the box, and he's having shadow peeks out. Gets that kill. Bomb is taken down. They got the round though, but a lot of lag is coming in. So next round is gonna get paused, and let's hope this lag is going over really fast because right now it's just not playable. I guess Shadow finding his last two exit frags. Vape and Ottawa both go down. It's a three on four, but the round is paused, so we're gonna wait until something comes up. Yeah, it's quite frustrating. I, I, obviously, I, I'm not sure how long these issues have been uh, ongoing, Bobby. I'm, I'm sure that you've been a little bit more active than me in the, on the game. Uh, but I, I've been noticing that you know a lot of teleportations uh, tend to not be the issue of of, of uh, people being not being properly connected to the servers. But now we see uh, we see it happening in a uh, tournament. Yeah, exactly. So let's hope it gets over. And like normally, the servers disappear for like five minutes, and then they come back and it's playable again. So maybe. One more time out after this, let's hope not, but I mean, expect the worst, let's hope for the best. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to just uh, sit this one out, just be a little bit more patient with this. Um, so... I heard as well that some, like against the lag, yesterday's critical ops, like the whole game went down, and you wasn't even able to join it back again. And like some um, some devices who have the app installed are like immune to that that k kind of lag. I don't know how. I don't know which in, um, devices, but I heard it. And that's what I know. It seems like it's one, gonna be one, a. Uh... One thing. One thing I have learned uh, as well, uh, Bob, is that usually uh, the issue tends to also uh, occur a lot when the room code is being uh, is being shown. Uh, now I'm not sure if the overlay that we have been given uh, covers that room code when you show the scoreboard. Um, add to cover that uh, it looks like that that will be something that will be resolved we might actually have to rehost uh, this game unfortunately it's quite a shame because this was getting quite interesting so i hope this is not the case but um looks like merciless is not is not accept uh, is not accepting this one it looks like bullet mafia wants to continue the game but Mer merciless is disagreeing uh, we have quite quite the situation here, not just in game, but also uh, mentally uh, for the players, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what is happening, but uh, DE6 and some other DE server. Otherwise, it's uh, SE servers that are the only server, three servers left in EU. And I mean, it's kind of unfair because they're using the lag now in, in their advantage, but there's nothing we can do about this. So, Luis finding his one kill, bomb is down. So, finding another one, B side completely free for him. He gets to watch out. Finding one more, yeah. Malik just going for the AFK kills, that's of course. He gets spotted yeah, out by Vape. I... Finds that kill, has to watch maybe behind him. Who knows where the last player is? He's on square. Needs to recover this bomb. One minute and 16 seconds left. He gets spotted out, gets some shots. Goes for the repeat. Oh, and that's a good Kobe from Milus, and he gets down. So it looks like we got ourselves another round pause, and as you see, you know, Masia, Ottawa, my line, they're all unable to uh, to be in the game at the moment. We might actually have to, I mean, I'm seeing some, uh, I'm hearing here, I'm hearing some reports here from uh, from the people behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen, that we might actually, uh, that we might actually have to rehost. I'm not exactly sure if this is the case, so I'm a little bit confused as to what, what we will do right now, because Merciless seems to be retreating on this one. And uh, we have some internal discussions uh, ongoing as we speak. We are trying to give you guys uh, the match today. But um, looks like we'll just have to roll with what we have right now. Um, so, Bobby, I don't know. I think we'll actually have to take it from here. But just, oh, there yeah. we go. Oxy leaving the, the room. And, yeah, everyone seems to be leaving the room. We might actually uh, – this is pretty much a rehost. Um, uh, hopefully, the next one will be better. Uh, we even uh, might not be able to stream it. I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see what uh, the staff behind the scenes will be saying. This is quite unfortunate, though. I was kind of excited to uh, to see this this one play out. Yeah, I don't know either what is happening at the moment. So we're going to switch back and wait until, um, I mean, the rehost is happening. Because, I mean, it's kind of unfair to play first map like this with this much lag. It's not even competitive. So uh, we're going to wait no. and see. And actually, in the meantime, while we're waiting for the rehost, we're gonna um, have a look in the the group stages that are both teams played. So let me take that really fast. There it is. We're gonna switch right here. So this was the group stage of Mullet Mafia, and as you guys can see, they have like 
the most points together with Space Gaming. Unfortunately, Space Gaming got uh, eliminated. So it's Mullet Mafia here in the lead. That what well, that's why they in the group play in the grand final now against uh, Merciless. And that was Group Stage B. And we also have the same Group Stage for um, Merciless. Let me switch to that one really fast. Um, there we go. Okay, this was the group stage as well. And as you guys can see, like seven points. It's one point before EG, EEH. That's like a really strong conquer for uh, Merciless. So that's why they always, that's why they also got in the grand final against MFA. So really strong group stage placements for them. And then we have going to take a look at like the, um, the prize pool as well for this tournament. Because this is not kind of an, an, a small tournament. Like, we saw this before, this is a 1k dollar prize pool, and we see first place will take like $600, that's gonna be split until, um, between 5 players, with like 200 credit, uh, 2000 credits each player, and 20 event ca cases, that's not nothing. And second place will get like 300 US dollars, and it's kinda of small to read, but I think it's 1600 credits and 16 event cases, which is also a nice, a nice place. Um, Third place is gonna take 100 US dollars, uh, 1200 credits and 12 event cases. And what I do really like about this tournament is that there is attention for the fourth and fifth place because most of the time fourth place is like the most disgusting place because you get no attention, you get no reward, you get almost nothing. Only if you get third place. So that's a really nice thing about this whole tournament. Fourth place takes uh, 100 credits and eight event cases. And the fifth place takes 800 credits and five event cases, which is not nothing, I mean, you you take part in a, in a big tournament, so I mean, if you place high in, a, in, a, in a leaderboard, you always get a reward, and that's what this tournament is all about, and that's what I really like. And we also have the map veto because we didn't show that because we were going straight into the match. So let me try and uh, take that as well, the uh, Wemi. And there we go. Look at the maps here. We got merciless and for mullet mafia are starting off uh we were start uh, we got the legacy and we have grounded being banned pretty early on now something i don't see often grounded getting banned now we do see some sometimes see legacy i mean actually the thing that i usually see getting banned is is or raid very specific like target bans with raid or the new map with the ferrari uh is it the ferrari or like a mclaren it's a mclaren actually it's a mclaren uh I actually forgot. I, I can't see. The, was it scale? Thor. Lake? It's a sore, sore, sore. Oh wow! I have not. No, I, I have. I have not seen that map often in tournaments. And when it does get picked, it's often a decider or a direct like pick from a team uh, that has been practicing specifically on the map just to use it to their advantage. It is not something that we see too often. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of, uh, kind of interested in how that will play out if we get to that point, of course, in this full ball five. Uh, now, of course, we have Legacy and Ground getting banned, and the first pick was Canals, which was by, um, and this is again, I think it's Mullet Mafia, right? The one with the wings, the one that looks a little bit more, and I think Merciless, or am I saying that wrong? Because they're both, ha they both have M's. <laughs> Could you help me here, or do you also not know? Yes, the Merciless one is one with, the, like, the, the wings, and the Mullet Mafia one is, okay. like, the, the blocky one. That could also help out the people at home. Okay, so I have, I, I did have it correct. Good, thank you very much. Uh, Mullet Mafia was the first one, so they did in fact pick Canals. I guess that also explains why they played it well early on, and they actually wanted to continue, uh, as, as they seemed to have a great head start there, even though they had, uh, they had the, they had the score being brought to a three to three. Now Mullet Mafia. Uh, after that, we've got Merciless picking, uh, uh pick, picking Bureau. Right after that, we got Raid from Mullet Mafia. And Merciless going for Soar, and then the Decider coming in with Plaza. So overall, very good map veto. I like seeing Bureau in there. It's something that I think was taken out uh, of circuit for, a, I think, a while ago. I've not really been paying much attention to it, unfortunately, but I did hear that it was taken out of the tournament map pool. Uh, but I love gra I love seeing Bureau back. It's something that I it's one of my favorite maps next to Raid. So it's great to see that map coming back as well. So uh, overall, very solid map veto. Um, it looks like we got ourselves a new room as well, Bobby. So it looks like those players will be joining up very, very soon. Yes, is there is anything true. else you would like to like to add to the map, Vita, or something else that you also see that you are interested in to see in the upcoming yes. map later on? Yes, yes, because right now, um, Soar, there's a very special map in like tournaments because we don't see it very often. People like mostly pick it to like um, annoy the other team because if you practice real good on it, you can play really strong on it. But that, therefore, you have to practice practice lineups because right now the map is really hard to uh, throw some mid lineups, smokes, flashes, etc. 
but there is an update coming up and that means the um, there is an update coming up and there will be windows in the top part of SOAR. We saw some screenshots of Scritclos getting uh, shown and as well Bureau, or I think it was Plaza, is getting a lower building so you can throw easily um, smokes over it or something or the church is getting renewed or anything else. So map updates coming up soon in the new update so really hyped for that actually because lineups is always a thing you have to use like to win your opponents like they can have better um better skill better gun skill better game sense but i mean if your lineups are good you can play around smokes play with flashes and just catch your enemy of guard so that's amazing to see in the upcoming updates um at this time the um, the room is already hosted players are also joining in and we are going to host a giveaway um at the same time while we wait because i don't know some comp players are a bit late and a bit um lazy so while we wait for them to join in we're gonna do a um, giveaway so everybody can spam their ign and id in the comments just um both both things so ign and then after it your uh, id of your account in critical ops and you will win one event case if we pick you so uh, me and Arde will both pick one name oh we will pick um three winners so three winners okay. three winners per map so i mean let me wait for a bit and let me open the stream so we can get these three winners instantly out of there so everybody spam your igns and ids and we will pick a winner there we go. very soon for me, the chat is not loading. I was for, I was I was going to look up the stream, but for me, the chat for some reason is not loading. I don't know why. So you'll have to you'll have to show me the chat, Bobby. <laughs> I don't know why it's not it's not popping up for me. The uh, chat on on YouTube, you mean, or? Yeah, I I look up the stream myself, and I for some reason cannot get the chat to work. Don't really know why. <laughs> for some odd reason. Mm. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. No, you have it. No. Oh, okay, perfect. It's, perfect, not, it's perfect. not. It's not. It's not. It's not you, man. It's not you. It's it's YouTube. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So let's take a look. Um, so far, no one is for me. No one is is putting their agents. Is not, it for you to say? Not, not, not on my end. I guess no one wants the cases. You guys can send them my way if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, or it's just I, a I one, one minute delay. That's also a thing. Oh yeah, that's that's also the case indeed. So we have to probably uh, wait it out a little bit uh, yep. before we do get that response from the chat. I completely forgot about the delay. Wow, Lit mm -hmm. we're literally a in a tournament. Obviously, there's a delay. So we'll but just have to while we wait, one. while we wait, we're just gonna go back to the tournaments because the map is ready and with all the waiting, so we're gonna have to just start instantly. And let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna switch over to the greens to the, the game screen. And here you guys go, merciless again, MFA once again. So. Knife round is not going to start again. It's MFA starting on the T site again. And let's wait for the timer to run out. I'm going to switch your screen as well, Arde. And there we go. There we go. All right. Another try. And this time, um, I, think, uh, I think, I don't think we really see too much going on this time. The room code, I think it's hidden for as far as I know. Uh, Bobby, did they get that resolved on your end? I have no clue. I didn't try to show the scoreboard so far, so... Alright, well, we'll keep it that way for now then, just to avoid anything from happening. Looks like we'll be going for a full reset. I mean, no further rounds will be added to the game. We won't be going back to the 3 versus 3 that we had before. And it looks like we're heading straight into another pistol round, this time with Merciless getting the first pick. And you know, it would be kind of weird to see Merciless getting the upper hand this time, uh, as they might have been uh, gotten used to their little strategy pushing on the A side. Dead uh, Volker in here coming. Second pick there, and we'll lose. Zelo taking out Musty. Yeah, we got that bomb ticking off in a three versus four. They've got the slight upper hand, but that push here from my line is doing quite a bit of damage. Akik able to shut down Ottawa. Vape comes and shut it down Male. Quick reload from Zelo. But it looks like we still got that one player from Coalition Spawn alive. My line does get shut down. Akik takes him down with that headshot with the P50. Zelo tries to go for a few shots, and there goes Vape. And Mullet Mafia still able to get that first round on the board. Not bad. So, so far, looking pretty decent here, Bobby. We got that first round on the board yet again from Mullet Mafia. So, nothing new that uh, that we're seeing so far. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know if you've seen anything that might be like a little bit different because I felt like the round felt a little bit different, obviously. Um, they started off having their first pick. Now this eco running with the AKs instead of SGs. Yeah, seems like it's gonna be ooh a heavy A stag. Vape getting one kill there on Daddy Davies. Ooh, he's down a gun, so they lost one uh, AK, I think it was. Yeah, spots are on the yeah. player on elbow. Xello is gonna try and peek main, but they know they have an opening towards B. So Aki finds the first kill on the loose. They're gonna get pushed from the top side. Milo with a nice hedge on the Malik. Ooh, he goes straight down. Peek from the T bridge. Kind of about how he threw a flash towards elbow and just ran. And like usually I was anticipating him to maybe go for a push and maybe save that AK or at least prevent him from picking up that weapon because, you know, in these eco rounds, being able to pick up the enemy's weapons is quite nice. Shadow comes in with a frag. Ottawa as well getting taken down. Bringing it back to one versus two. The bomb is still ticking. Looking pretty good for Molt Mafia so far. Mosia being the last player standing. Timer's running out. He does mm. not have a lot of money on his, his, his name yeah. and on his HP as well. So in my... Opinion, he would just save the SG and yeah. just wait for it. Ooh, but look at this, Xello down to 25 HP. He's gonna maybe spot him out. Yeah, not yet though. That's a close call. Yes. Very, very close to all. Dropping the SG for his teammate, picking up the AUG himself. Looks like everyone's got their own little preference with the recoil. And we're going straight into the third round. So far, it is looking like a uh, history is repeating itself type of game where we see Mullet Mafia possibly getting the third round too. Just have to see how that goes. Bomb when they down the drop ground. the bomb on T spawn as well, so they trying to get some picks on A and then maybe rotate. Let's see this is, setup from them. That is definitely a possibility, especially the fact that they dropped the bomb on a uh, kind of a rotational spot. Now you would all, you would also you can also argue that they're not going to do that. Because usually, you know, you rotate if you are checking the A side, trying to look for some options. And if they don't really f fully uh, push through, they tend to rotate through that river area uh, towards the lower catwalk and then towards the cafeteria. So, you know, you tend to bring the bomb a little bit towards that corner, possibly. You know, that's something that you see uh, being done often as well. Uh, but we don't see that here. We do, we do see a drop straight on the bridge, really making sure that bomb is safe. Now, Shadow is, is playing a little, uh, little oh. greedy here. And that is, that is painful. You felt that, I I felt that slightly out of vision with Vape there. And uh, Shadow is gonna get caught out of the shadow there. Vape getting another pick, and there it goes. Merciless breaking history, getting that third round. Uh, Take it away from Mafia on this one. Yep. They lost, failed um, match. They got three in a row, and then um, Merciless got also three in a row. And now, I mean, they're returning from their mistakes from last. Uh, match so doing pretty good yeah. so far and especially that takedown on shadow there that was not a great start for or uh for mullet mafia there i mean obviously they would have been able to take the third one but uh those takedowns they were a little bit too much now they're down to an even an eco we're seeing something similar to what we saw when they lost the fourth round but now we're seeing it a little bit earlier <coughs> and merciless going for that quick cleanup not a single player getting taken down here from merciless mullet mafia getting taken down quick eco frags here uh even with the m4 I'm bringing it back to two versus two. Yep, and so far we see only B250s in the hands of um, MFA. Oh, we see them buying now, okay. They were just discussing, what will, will, will we buy, guys? Guys, What threat? What buy? What guns? And now they're all going A. Bomb is going B. It's a one-man army with the bomb in his hands. All the rest going to play some... And a drop-off <laughs> yeah. drop right after that. Possibly just, oh no, never mind, he picked it up again. A bit odd, I'm not really sure what he's doing with that bomb. Uh, they might actually be pushing in for a fake, just kind of relying on him surviving that towards the B side. My line and Masia, yeah, that was painful to watch. Malik and Zelo losing their lives there. Not great, not a lot of map control to work with. Merciless really getting ahead here. You can see that aggressive push from Elus. He's getting confident and he just takes down Vulgren like that shadow punishes him. Bringing it back to a three versus two. Now we do know that bomb is down now to shadow. Really giving Merciless an, uh, an easy time here, capturing that bomb. But Akix oh. is not letting that happen. Pushing through, taking down Vape and Myline, going straight for the bomb. Does he know where the other one is, though? We do see a push coming in from Masha, the last player standing from Merciless. He has the bomb, 50 seconds. This is quite the 1v1. Oh, and he will notice, he will read this. He saw him, gets him. Oh, gets a flick back on Aki, and that's a third round mm -hmm. for Merciless. 
It was a nice play by Aki, but didn't work out at the end. He got the bomb as well. The rotation was not there because Mosia just stopped him right away. Nice read. Very nice read. Very nice indeed. You can see uh, that, you know, Aki didn't need to get those double, get the double there towards the B side. Caught one of them off guard. Was able to get my line. Picked up the bomb. Went for that rotation towards the A side. He's got 50 seconds. Could have maybe done a little fake rotation, but you know that's a little bit of a of a reverse, reverse play. Um, bit hard to, to pull that one out. Uh, quick flash coming up in Aki's face. He's going to get taken down. Otto gets one, gets two. Shadow also getting shut down. Malik. Volgren, and it is a full eco frag takedown this time. We don't see a 3-3, three three, but a 4-2 as Merciless is dominating against Mullet Mafia on these first six rounds. That was a very nice hold. I mean, the flash came in on main and flashed them also. A really nice flash from Otto. I think it was in got a triple kill for as a reward for that. So, they're very well played. I mean... You kind of know their eco, they're going to die fast because of no Kevlar, but still, mm. very nice well played. My on here. Usually, usually, especially with Deagles, you know, that when, when one of those headshots hit, it tends to go by pretty fast. Um, but, you know, like you said, that flash definitely helped. Out. Kind of Like with these eco rounds, if you want to make quick eco frags, you want to cluster everyone together in a group. And make creating that flash, creating that confusion really helped them out in that, in that situation. Now, that is true, that know, is true. Even though that is the case, we do see two players getting taken down pretty early on. And we see him scattering around, lower catwalk over the boat. Fulgren even stepping towards Coalition spawn. Illuse kind of confused what to do. Kind of stuck there on the B side. Not really sure what to check first. Ottawa and Illuse also getting shut down. Off they go. Mullet Mafia not even planting the bomb yet. And already getting close Ooh, to it. And Deadly David is 4k this round. Oh my god. My line every yeah. round. He's the cafe player and he peeks up early, so I mean the op opponents don't expect it, but Daddy Dave was like fastly on top and he crossed. It was a fast pick for him. He got two yeah. after that as well, so big impact Very in the well. round. Very well played there by Volgren. I uh, I did not. It, I, I was kind of more focused on on how fast they were actually able to uh, just scatter themselves around the map and e before even planting the bomb, winning out the game. But like you said, and something that you noticed as well, Vorgan getting that 4K there, really able to uh, be kind of the main damage dealer in this uh, group as they push through. Aki coming with that first kick. Nade comes oh. down and Aki a second one. Wow, it looks like another deadly member here from Old Mafia. And Zelo gets a lose, comes in with one pick with the sniper, but that's all he can do with that new ratio. This time we do see a bomb plant before a complete takedown on the enemy side. Masia does take down Molly, bringing it back to a two versus three. They've got some solid control, and they'll probably be locking in this round too. Two on three. They have the positioning. Bomb is planted, taken away. Almost 30 seconds left. And it's just going to be a save for... Uh... For Merciless, they're going to stick on this A side and just wait for the bomb to take down. Because nothing they can do. Very little money. And HP to their names as well, so... Going to wait it out. Both of them sitting there in elbow. Not really anything crazy happening so far. Just waiting it out with this one. And also, now... what a nice entry from Aki. Just going straight in there and... Oh yeah, that was beautiful. Getting those two picks early on definitely helped bring that momentum. From Mullet Mafias, and uh, we, we, we do see, uh, like you said, we do see Vulgren usually playing playing the big boy on their team, but sometimes Aki and another and a couple other ones tend to pop through as well in these rounds, and they definitely need it because, as you can see, they're still going uh, basically four to four. I mean, Mercer's also putting up a fight, especially with my line doing a lot of damage in some areas. Shadow coming with that first pick with the sniper. Uh, pretty good start so far. You know, this is something you want on the breach side, especially if you're here, if you're for Mullet Mafia on this on this round. You do want to see that early pick being brought into uh, into the into the options that they can uh, they can into the checklist that they can uh, mark off. We do see one player from Sniper's Nest bringing a bit of pressure. Oh, Malik drops down. What was that? Yeah, Malik spot, spotted that one even faster than we did. And look at that my line, a double there from Malik. You can see even Malik here pushing through, getting in that double, kind of pulling a Naki here, getting a double on a pretty decent setup. Zelo coming in, shutting down Masia. And uh, look at that bomb plant, last that player is, standing. That is crazy. I mean, Malik just got the two kills and they, they know the beat. those were the B-side players and still they went A. That's big balls from uh, MFA. Five rounds to their name and it's, it's working out so far. I mean, Malik got the picks, they got the infos, but still they decided to go A. That's a ballsy play to do, but I mean, it worked out at the end, so well played to them. 
Yeah, 100% well played. This was uh, exceptional performance coming in here from Bullet Mafia. Mercers, though, you got to give it to them. They are standing their ground. It's not like they're going down with an easy fight and they're still trying to maintain that scoreboard. Somewhat stable. Their office is slightly behind now, but it looks like they might be able to bring that back to a 5-5. Five to five. Let's see how they will perform here on the coalition side on this map. Of course, it's not their, it might not be their map pick, but they still have their performance on their end. They can Mossia coming in with that first pick on Malik. This time Malik does get out. But look at that. Quick scope there from Shadow. Just like you uh just like you saw that. <laughs> Beautiful quick scope there from Shadow, yeah. Oh, and another one. That's some clip hunting moments right there. Oh my god. Shadow, absolutely beautiful performance coming in there with that steer ratio. You know, I don't, it's kind of sad. I usually, I don't know what they updated their ratio. They made it less favorable to use, but I don't really see people getting two frags in a row on, or even two frags in total on each and around with your ratio. It maybe it's harder to snipe nowadays. I'm not sure, but it is nice to, it kind of feels refreshing to see that in Shadow. Shadow pulling this one, especially on candles, of course, kind of a sniper map um, with his long range areas. Bring him to four to six. Yeah, that was a real nice play. I mean, close up with a sniper, that's not what you expect on a Kennels map. I mean, most of the times a team has a sniper player in this map because it's long range, it's good to hold long distances. But on close range, man, that's that's ballsy. You can see him again with a sniper, like, going close range. He feels it right now, he feels confident. Even though it's smoke, he's trying to hold the smoke and hear some noise into Cafe. They know they can peek it only one on site. Together with... I was gonna hold the back side. Oh, Vape. Catching off Malik of Guard. Mossy as well with a kill. Oh my god, it's all happening on the A side. Marcellus is getting a solid 3k so far in total. And look at that shadow getting taken down by my line. Only bringing Volgren, last player standing with the bomb, luckily on his back. That could have been way worse. You see that takedown there in Ottawa. And it is a one versus two as Vape and my line are getting closer and closer to that A side. Volgren going for that quick Bomb's bomb plant. And we can see that rotation from Volgren towards elbow. Quickly checking uh, a flank or a possible backstab. And quickly peeking his right side there towards main. But Vape shuts him down. A little too greedy there from Volgren. I don't know if you know, he's quite a quite aggressive player. And he does get punished there for that uh, for that aggressive peek from elbow. Maybe sticking to the side would have been better, but of course you can't really know for certain. That we is have, true. Uh, and in 1v2 it's hard to know where the last player is. He had the surprise effect, but still, Vape was uh, faster than what he's going, so he got him down. He also had the scope on him, so it was not. He, he kind of had. He, he was kind of at a disadvantage already. Um, but yeah, you know, like you said, effect of surprise could have definitely helped. If he got, if he took down that, if he took down Vape there, that would have been great. Put him back in a one v one, make it a little bit more, a um, little bit more, uh, bring up, a, bring up the tension a bit more uh, for the other, the other last one. But off to the final round, I think for the for the first half. Let's see how it goes. Can we see a stabilization here for Merciless, or will we see? Will Mafia prevail with another round on the board, bringing it to 7-5? to five. That would make it even more tempting for Merciless to bring that comeback into a, a bit more full force. There's going to be a heavy A push, flash and smokes coming in. A main is pushing. Mossy with a kill, Shadow with the, the, the trade. Shadow won't close with a double. Spotting one in the smoke and he's down as well. 2v2, he drops his gun. Bomb is going to get planted, one on the CT positioning, and Mylan is going to join Vape as well. On the CT for the retake, ready to do it, Deadly Dave. Ready, with some fresh bullets and the gun. And they are trying to do some wall bangs, but it's not working so far. Shadow has a very good position in there. But they're I not mean... coming from elbow, that's 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 for sure. He's got a good position, but they're both pushing in from Volgren. Oh, and Volgren. it's Volgren, oh my <laughs> god. What a nice trigger, oh, what a nice <laughs> recall control right there, oh my god. The, the, the transfer gorgeous. as well. It was gorgeous to witness, and uh, we do see Volgren here again, being the deadly Dave himself, bringing it to a 7-5. to five. Bullet Mafia going into the second half with a head start. Beautiful. That is lovely to see. First eco knife round. Here we go. Off of the, swift, the switch, the flipper, and the half. It's a stack on the B side, so let's see what the Merciless does. They're going completely the opposite. Only Vape with the bomb in his hands on the elbow. And the plan is going to come in in seconds. Ooh, some tags already coming in through uh, the crossfire. I yeah, mean... Some people's nest got a little bit Bob's greedy there. And it looks like they uh, they wanted to go in for, uh, for a little pick. We got ourselves a push coming in. 
Malik going for a couple shots, quickly reloading there on that XD. Tries to push more, and it looks like there was a player behind that box. They did not fully take him down. Shadow, Zelo, Aki coming with another one. Vape gets shut down, tries to take down one player with him. Masya comes in with another. Milan getting shut down by Malik. It's a three versus one as Masya's tried to keep it together. That bomb is still ticking. Oh. Look at Masya, but I was expecting a defuse. It was indeed a defuse. He gets the 3k, but there was a defuse happening at the same time. I didn't hear it, but I was kind of, I was kind of sensing that someone might be defusing. As Masi was trying to take down these other players, something you uh, you would kind of expect in the grand finals to at least have someone defuse the bomb, just in case. And as you can see, it worked out. There goes the round towards MFA. Yeah, that was a nice 3k, but at the same time, unfortunately, he didn't get the bomb plan. It's a, a Nico round, even though. Um, I mean, it's Nico round towards A, but. Um, so far, MFA is not throwing any util because they know it's just free picks, just a few shots and they're dead. As you guys can see, Xello on the truck getting some shots in. He's gonna aggressively push that, I think. A pretty good my line coming with that pick there on Volgrin. Quick headshot, Mullet Mafia again. They do lose out. Pretty, uh, pretty strong member of their team early on on this uh, on this map. But uh, I think I think it's not over yet. It's definitely not over yet. They're still. Patiently winning this one out. We got Merciless as well. Slowly pushing forward. Oh, that second takedown there on Shadow. A bit, a bit nasty. Ottawa at least getting refracked by Zelo, But uh, it's starting to hurt a little bit there on Mobile Mafia's end. Three versus three. I mean, this is not something you would expect when you got all these Augs and M4s. Masya able to get shot down. We do see a bomb plant coming in from a lose. My line coming in. AK quickly taking oh, on Oh, nice. Off catch him on court. That's yeah, a nice that play. Beautiful. Ooh, Malik Always almost in time. Beautiful. And he finds him. Mm. Mylan goes down after he's, he's traded. 2v2, 2v1 right here. Malik and Xello lost yeah. a life. And it's a loose close by. Finding one with the Deagle, but it's not a Mylan action like in the first map. So goes down in the process. Bomb is going to get the fuse right in time. And it's going to be nine rounds so far for MFA. Merciless. Four rounds serious. down. And I mean, they're doing a very nice effort in this map, but it seems like. Some picks and some clutches are not theirs. I mean, the first eco round should be theirs, and then it was a completely other scoreboard. But uh, right now, after that, um, three kills from Mossia and not being able to stop the diffuser, it's 9 5 on the scoreboard right here. That pistol round definitely made Merciless, uh, or put Merciless in a bit more of a, of a tough spot there. That defuse did not make it work. They were able to, of course, win out the round in terms of how many kills they got, but not in terms of uh, winning the round, winning the round type of style. And uh, now, I like like we've seen there, was pretty close as well with the Deagle, but uh, utility-wise, they already had the upper hand. They got pretty close. You got to give it to them. Only one player standing. All he had to take down was Malik, but it was just not enough. Just not enough by that tiny bit. And those two rounds are going to be split for Mal Mafia to be, uh, to be taken by Dan Malik coming in with a double early on. Shadow as well. Vape. My line, they get two picks on the side here. With the oh, that looks like wins. Wolgren. That aggression there. From yeah, Mal he's Mal sharp. He's real sharp. And when you, when you feel that aggression, it is done very fast. 10 to 5. You can see a double indifference. Now we saw a bit more of a stable start. But now we actually see double the score um, on the board, or the, double the scoreboard there. So that is uh, that is quite that's quite tough to to witness. Hopefully, uh, we'll, we'll, we might be able to see a comic. Do you see Malik actually leaving Novocaine, coming in to a sub for him, being a little substitute there for him. Looks like he might have some issues. Even though whatever issues he might have had, he still performed very well. So thank you, Malik, for participating here. And uh, hopefully, Novocaine is able to uh, to. Participate with them. I actually, I actually expected the pause to come from uh, the other side here, from Merciless. But it looks like it was Mullet Mafia. They they needed a quick substitute. So uh, usually, when a team is behind, they do need a little bit of pause, just to discuss a few things or uh, get some things ready. Um, maybe maybe discuss some uh, strategies, of course, maybe a different approach. But uh, looks like this was just a quick sub. You don't see that too often. Now Zelo coming in towards elbow, Trek checking here, not going for that full push, Illusion, and Ottawa getting two frags, Aki and Novakin both getting shut down, Shadow, Vulgarin also able to kind of balance things out, but it brings it back to a two versus one as Zelo shuts down Vape, Ottawa being the last player standing, the bomb is all the way towards the other side, not ideal if you want to push that B site uh, at all as Ottawa is entering. Looking for any change of players to, uh, to strike down, but looks like Shadow will be shutting down Ottawa in this one. Bringing it to 11 to 5, getting pretty close to uh, 
So getting it just to a 13, two rounds away from uh, to, from winning this first matchup. What do you think so far, Bobby? We're we're seeing quite uh quite the buys coming in from Mullet Mafia economically. They're doing very well as well so far ahead. Do you think there's an opportunity for Merciless to possibly go for in for combat? I mean, so far MFA is playing really strong on the city side. And I think they have better holes than they do. And I mean, the communication seems just better on their end of the um, of the map. So Merciless can try whatever they want, but um, at the end of the day, as you can see right here, oh, babe, that's not a thing. I mean, some players of MFA are just more well warmed up as we look towards um, Shadow with the sniper or Vulgren, the um, Vulgren with the double kills the whole time. So. And it seems like yeah. they're prepared for everything. We've seen them being able to take um, Merciless off guard or actually catch them off guard a couple times. You can see the momentum starting to shift towards Mullet Mafia. You can see that they had their substitutes ready just in case. Yeah. They had so many things better prepared than Merciless, it feels like, so far. And at the and, same uh, time, we also have MFA playing the last um, Pro League season. So, I mean, they have a good chemistry with each other. And as we see, uh, Merciless is like a comp completely fresh team. Some NA people, some EU people, it's like different time zones, it's kind of hard to practice, so I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's it's, it's coming down to the, to, to the team chemistry, I, I, just get, I, I just think. Yeah, no, and obviously you can, you can also kind of combine that factor with uh, some very uh, some very known players, or at least the names that I see here. I do see them often being at the top, and those tend to be from Old Mafia. Now, we do see Merciless actually, while we had this conversation, completely obliterate Mullet Mafia there on that push towards the A site. So it's definitely not just Mullet Mafia. We do see, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we are expla explaining that, a full takedown there on the A side. So it was kind of well played there for Merciless. Uh, we were unable to fully analyze that, but it looks like they, uh, they won. <laughs> That's all we can, all we can come uh, to a conclusion to. Maybe the thing we are losing out of our minds is like the, the ping difference for Merciless is like way higher. And maybe it's that as yeah. well. So That could also definitely be a factor. Are we, how many players are from uh, North America, if I may ask? Uh, uh, we can see Vape, uh, Ottawa and Illus are from NA, Mila and Mossi are from um, uh, EU, so that's a big okay, difference. It's kind of weird though, because their ping is pretty high considering they're from EU. You would expect that to be quite a bit lower, but it looks like that's not the case. Uh, but that's definitely, I, I didn't even think of that. I thought we were uh, playing on similar servers, but it looks like that's not the case. Slight ping advantage as well, in com combination with, of course, their own map picks. So those are also factors that you have to think Bomb about. Been but let's see how they perform. You know, they can maybe get a few more rounds. That you, I don't know if you've heard of it, of course, uh, round balance. In case of, if we were to go to four maps and we were to be a two to two, that final map will be decided on which server will be played based on round balance, which is very key in um, making sure that uh, they can secure that at least. So let's see how many rounds Mercedes is able to get in comparison to Mullet Mafia. I feel like that's also a very important factor if we're going to look at uh, the other maps that will be played today. So we'll see how many Merciless is able to pump out and possibly get a full combat. You never know. Uh, it yeah, is it's, pretty tight, though. It so only, tight. It's, it's only first map, so everything can still happen. Oh, Shadow, Shadow. fighting the last kill. That's a nice, nice place, place to hold. And for your exit for X, so... Um, Nice skill. So they're catching up in rounds now. Yeah, they're catching up. They were behind, I think, 12 to 5. Now it's 12 to 7. Two rounds in a row so far. Able to get a pretty good takedown on the A side and then a bomb plant with a 2 to 2 remaining uh, bomb uh, explosion. So um, looking not not looking too bad here. Merciless is getting a little bit, a little bit confident. You know, they're taking that momentum away. Uh, we do see some players, you know, kind of like scattering around. We, the bomb is kind of far ahead. Usually you see that well protected. Uh, so that's uh, that's a little greedy there coming in from Merciless. The bomb is already down on the ground. You can see them getting punished for that bomb. That doesn't take down Vulgren in the process, but, you know, losing out that bomb. I don't know if that's worth it. Never mind. Vape oh, he picked it up, but there's one behind it. He doesn't know it. He finds one. He's not finding a second one. Xello gets peaked. He loses with a nice trade. Picks up the bomb. One more last player life. It's Mylan and Ottawa both on the B side. Gonna have to rotate towards there. It's Aki seeing one. Now has to watch out. But his last player on A side. But the bomb is rotating towards main. That's a perfect thing. Otto is going to help him cross safely into cafe. And throwing a flash into the streets. And at the same time, see Aki just desperately going going for this. I mean, he has no money. He should probably save. But at the same time, I mean, going for his ballsy play can maybe work out. So slowly creeping up. 
on the stairs on Cafe. Hearing some sound towards Belong, a reloading player, gun. Nobody in the corner. Oh, now he makes some noise. Oh, we can hear that. I, I heard that player from this on the site. He made quite a bit of noise there, and Elus shuts him down, punches him for that. Aki, not really uh, the best idea there to make uh, those steps, those, that noise. Or at least if you're going to make noise, kind of hold your back against the wall. Try to look for someone on the site before rotating yourself towards Belong. Uh, but still, nice try, no, nonetheless. And, and like you said, you know, a safe would have probably been a little bit better, economically speaking. But maybe his other team members have a lot of money. You never know. You can see them going for full buys again. I mean, at the same time, they, they know it's now all or nothing, so... Yeah. That is true. It is the final round. It could be the final round every round for them. So they, uh, they have to be prepared for anything. Looking in for a push. Ottawa. Scanning around the bridge. Yeah, he's going the fast on his upper catwalk. Mm -hmm. He's definitely not skipping a heartbeat here. Getting a couple shots. Flash coming in. Lose one, two, when he gets three it. from Ottawa. Beautiful here. Look at that entry of the B side. Look at that. Mullah Mafia. Wow. He got stripped apart. Volgrant. All alone on that A side. Getting hit quite a bit there from main. 51 HP. He's got a smoke. He can protect himself. Kind of delay the inevitable, possibly. Nova Kane comes in. We are seeing some action from Nova Kane, something that we have yet to see after that little swap that, uh, that we had there on the substitute. Nova Kane, second frag. Not too bad. Looks like the monster is waking up. And we see Vape and Otto being the last player standing, going for that rotation towards the B side. Smoke is up. A couple shots here from Nova Kane again. Reloading. Volgren. Bomb has been planted. Like he's waiting for him to rotate as well. Nade coming in, and they're kind of preparing themselves for the last players from Bullet Mafia to push from Coalition Spawn. Look at how far away they're moving from the B side, but not towards Coalition Spawn. Are you seeing this? Yeah, I mean, the smoke is now crucial because that's a bad thing. I'm only Vape can stop this plan because it's useless from... He gets one, he gets two, and it's it's done! Oh my god, I didn't know he would have been able to do it. I mean, the smoke on Cafe was perfect. The cafe player was so useless at that point, but Vape catching them both of guard, easy peasy, two double kill, and they're they're gone. Twelve yeah, to nine. That was beautiful, yeah, for sure. I mean, we were just talking about a comeback being a little bit unlikely, but looking for more rounds maybe. And now twelve to nine. Oof, it is uh, it is starting to become a possibility. That's for sure. Merciless Nova Kane this time again. Still awake, but quickly getting shut There's down. There's a recrack. Oh, Xello mm. peeking so aggressively. Has to watch out for his main players. Non spots are on Vape from all the way back. Minor with a double. Oh my god. And it's again done. 12 to 5. Merciless is waking up. They not want to let this first map slip out of their hands. And oh my god. It's Vape on the first place right there. That Vape waking up out of nowhere. And even with that ping difference, even with that whole situation going on, looks like they are able to bring it back on the board. Ladies and gentlemen, Mullet Mafia, ever since we saw Malik leaving, it felt like a part <coughs> of them was, was, was leaving too. I don't know why. We did, we did see some great performance there from Novocaine in the previous round. Even this round, he could go for a one-on-one. -on -one. So it wasn't that much of a difference, you would think. But look, out of nowhere, we are seeing quite a shift in momentum. We are seeing better performance, better picks early on. And Mullet Mafia is getting shredded. On their own map and their own server. That is true. You can definitely see how Milan plays that he's counting on his on his teammates. Like he's not peeking the lower catwalk because um, nobody was holding it. Oh, spots I want a nice flick hedge. So there it goes. They're they finding one as well. Bomb is coming in on B long. Spots that one player. And Nate is coming in. He's just around right there. I'm not spilling him out so far. Flash and a smoke still in his hands when he's all the way back to Ooh, Not too bad, not too bad. Couple shots coming through those boxes. We do see Volgrin coming in with that push line. Well, he found him fast there. Look at those reflexes from my line. Suddenly, this guy's warmed up. Nova King quickly shutting down my line, trying to go for that 1v3. Gets the I second one. Then he go for the third. Oh, he there's no the way. Oh, wow. There is a way. Look at that great performance. Nova King finally able to Bomb's dominate this round 13 to 10. And Mullet Mafia is able to still get that victory. That got pretty close, though. Got a little too close for comfort. Obviously, all they needed was one round, but Merciless, they were going for it. You got to respect it. Yeah, it's a real true. Oh, my God. I mean, 
my line is such a big impact in the last in the last um, round, but at the same time, Novocaine comes in so strong as a sub for Malik and gets this tri triple kill in this in a, such an important round. I mean, they close it down, and at the end of the day, they get the first round, the the yeah, the, the, the first point. So it's a best of five, I think. So um, still, we're Nothing gonna wait bad. for the next map is getting hosted, and what a map was that! That was amazing. I really enjoyed watching that. And I'm happy that we got that to a close. Of course, we had those issues early on in the first match. But now, or at least the first uh, the first uh, room that was set up. Uh, but we got some more good news because we got that giveaway. We still got to pick those people, don't we, Bobby? Do you want to start? <laughs> yeah, I see everybody spamming in the chat already. So uh, let's see who we're going to pick. Um, wow, the chat is going so fast. I'm just going to... Press my screenshot button and let's see who we pick. So I'm gonna wait a bit until everybody spams. Uh, we probably need to wait another full minute for that, but we did. We do see a few people that have already uh, spammed it a couple times, and uh, maybe you might be able to, to catch one there. Yep, I see already a first one. There it is. I'm going to post it right here. That is my first pick, and you can place a pick as well. So, okay. my first pick was uh, Anna Critical Ops. Uh, is it a girl's name? Maybe it's a girl player? I think so. So, so it's um, going straight for the girls, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called that right. Coster Riss. So, Anna, congratulations with the event case. And uh, so, we have two more winners that can get I'm picked out. The so. second one. I got Asher, so congratulations, Asher. Uh, with your uh, with the event cases there as well, so y you won yourself some as well. So um, that's my second. I don't know what we're gonna do for the third. Are we gonna ask one of the staffs, or do you want to do this one, Bobby? Uh, yeah. You're more honored to do these. I mean, it's all good for me. So you took Asher. Let me scroll up because we saw some people way way uh, earlier as well. Uh, let me see. Some people are spamming it as well, like every second. So let me skip those people, and I see. Starry, let's take Starry. So Starry, congratulations with your event case. And those were the three winners. So I'm gonna post as well. Wins. Congrats, Anna Critclops, Asher, and Starry. There we go. Um we're gonna wait a bit for the second map to get um hosted. But um in that meantime, me and Arde are gonna go on a short break until that map is live. So uh we'll see you guys. Just right then. See you in a bit. Bye -bye.
Okay, we're almost ready for this uh, second map on Bureau. Uh, MFA won the first one. As you can see, we have a little dot edited on the, the overlay. So, um, knife round is live. The Lewis goes with the, with the heart. I mean, it's a nice way to, uh, to say good luck. And uh, knife comes in, bashing on the opponents. It's a 1v1 and Exy takes it down. Oh, Exy is new to the lineup. Okay. We didn't saw him before. He comes in as a sub for... Um, who is gone? Nova Kane is here. He swapped out for Malik. We, do, we don't see Volkern. Where's Volkern? Volkern is gone. That's unfortunate. Deadly Dave. Volkern, yeah. Volkern. They're, they're, they're swapping out some good players. I mean, we, we, we obviously no hate to Exe and to, uh, to, to Nova Kane, obviously. But th their main team is obviously their main team for a reason. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that their substitutes, they'll, they'll be just fine. We'll just have to see how they perform. Maybe they're better on Bureau. You don't know. There's, there's a lot of, uh, lot of things that come in play. Um, we'll just that have to see true. how it goes here. Mm -hmm. And Bureau is kind of a strategy map. I mean, it loses the whole team into the ball on the... On this position. Novocaine is going to spot them out with Deagle. Oh, a Shadow with a pick there. Novocaine with some hard damage through the wall banks over here. And it's going to be a fast push. Shadow and, and Novocaine both on the Zay side. Trying to hold it down, um, teammates gonna try to rotate, but they're kind of stuck on this lap position. Yeah, they're not pushing further. They're kind of sticking to this area on lap two. Um, they could have continued this fairly easily, I would argue. No, you got four players. You've got some people with the deagle here, Ottawa. Uh, but now they're kind of just playing it safe, which is odd. I mean, especially when you're down one player, you wanna stabilize the amount of players remaining, and now you're kind of just making it a little difficult on yourself. So. We'll just have to see how this goes. Okay, we do see a break of the armor. That was a now nice headshot. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, I mean, it wasn't a full takedown, but it, it did indeed break some armor down. Shadow, XC, we can see two players getting shot down. Snoopy coming in another one. Hey, Snoopy, that's a new one. Oh, Mossy, what a nice pick. Also from the backside from Slap. Another play comes in. Oh, XC closes it down. Mossy, not able to find that kill on XC. Takes him down first round for MFA. I mean, they were kind of stuck on this lap position. They were down one player. They didn't have the player advantage, and... They were stuck there. They made the push eventually. Mossia doing some nice uh, damage on that head with the player backside, but uh, it was not enough, and they took the first round. It was not enough indeed, and they, 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 they definitely took too much time there. Exe kind of performing well there on the pistol round, not too bad. And uh, we also saw a new player from Merciless. Was it Snoopy? Snoopy? Yeah, there it is. So uh, he also swapped out for someone else, I'm assuming. I don't know, is my line still in the game? I haven't seen my line. I think he swapped out for my line. Ooh, what a quick eco round this could have been, but we do see that aggression there from Snoopy with the deagle taking two. Oh, there, there's my line. Okay, I have no idea who he swapped out for that. I'm, I'm not really <laughs> so I, well, I haven't paid attention to that, but Aki. Oh, Shadow was about to do a little jiggle there and then moved away. Aki was still luckily there to catch Ottawa off guard. Not too bad for an eco round. They were able to do a little bit of damage. We can see uh, that some players did, in fact, get taken down there on Mullet Mafia's end, but. Not enough to do uh, anything catastrophic. Merciless still behind two rounds. We are on North American servers now, though. So in terms of servers and in terms of the map picks, this should be something that Merciless can play with. Exactly. A double man stack up. Yeah, on this um, scanner. I forgot how, how, to, how to call this position even. Intel. Intel. Oh, my God. My map knowledge is completely gone. Oh, no, I have the same thing with Soar. If you're going to try and let, do me, let me do callouts on Soar, I will uh, I will get obliterated by a lot of people. So <laughs> don't uh, don't feel bad for that. These, these uh, Raid and Bureau are my uh, personal favorites. So it would be pretty hard for me to forget those. But yeah, no, there were two stacking on Intel. It's not something you see too often, but I guess they're just not confident in having one player on Intel. Snoopy, my line, getting two players down. to lose able to shut down Shadow. Well, and look at that. What a takedown. Well, it was a matter of... It was all, all a matter of winning the first round. I mean, they lost it, and that's the way they lost the second round as well. But now they have a full ban, and they completely came on the B side and just vanished. Like, made everybody vanish on the B side. My line jumping across uh, that B entry, finding one player on the um, on the vent hole position, and then going join his team on B side. It was an easy pick, an easy site, and an easy bomb plant. I mean, they didn't have the bomb plant. They all had the, the kill, so... Not that extra bonus of money, but it's okay. Flash coming in. He'll lose. Finding that first pick on Shadow. Even though it was a juggle peek, he finds him in the head. One player down for MFA. They jump in across and they kind of have this event hall. Thank you, this position. Mossia with a kill. Snoopy as well with a kill. The B side is completely theirs. Exy not able to do anything from Orange. Goes down and Ottawa finding Cello on that, on that events as well. It's a 2 on 2. They catch up on a score. 
And so far, Snoopy, the stand and the sub is playing fantastically so far. Seven kills to his name. It's going good for Merciless. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, we've seen similar similar comebacks from Merciless on Candles as well, but usually that doesn't end too great later on. Uh, hope to not see that uh, happen again. We do want to see a quite a quite a match today, and maybe Merciless can pull us uh, pull out a little magical trick this time. Uh, we do see the smoke coming up. My line is not covered at all, but kind of hindering him a little bit. Aki and Exe getting two picks there. Snoopy getting taken down. And we want to see that bomb towards the B side, but looks like it's pretty hard here for Ottawa to land that one. Shadow shutting down my line, and there goes their player on the flank from Banana. And now Ottawa all the way towards that vent. Shaft going for that. That was Oh, the nice repeak with the headshot. There it is. It was perfectly timed for Ottawa. Nova Kane did get taken down, lost that one. It, it kind of felt like they were in sync, but then Nova Kane got taken down in that one. Shadow, they're gonna lose. Okay. Ottawa, wow, with the 3k so far. Solution Not wins. too bad. Exe, shutting him down, trying to make sure he doesn't do any more damage than that. He was the only player taking, taking frags there, though. Not too bad. Coming in from Ottawa, really trying to help out his team, but looks like it wasn't enough. Yeah, it was a nice double kill at the end of the round, but um, he heard some sounds. Uh, but it was actually on the B side. He thought it was Kitchen, but um, he was watching Kitchen. Was um, prepared for that peek, but it wasn't coming. And Exe in the backstab. Catch him off guard. I mean, he knew he was going to peek right there. It was all a matter of time, but at the same time, didn't catch the round. So, uh, a fast, fast orange push. Ooh, but it's getting denied by two flashes from, from orange and one on B side. Both completely fast. Mossy and Snoopy going in. The smoke there completely countering it. Snoopy finding one. And finding a double exe as well with a double kill. I mean, it's a double trait. Three on two on the board still. Way than enough. Just, no one wanted to go right. Everyone just went straight for orange. Everyone planted. just skipped the uh, the other side. They dropped the smoke and they called it a day. It still worked. Usually you see that double push from both sides. Uh, but uh, Kitchen was, was just left open. Was just left open. Looks like maybe the other can use that to the, uh, a little bit of a leverage. And you can see they are taking their steps there. And getting towards that bomb. It's making it a bit hard for Merciless to uh, to hold it. That bomb or that nade. And that flash is going to make it hard. Look oh, that. no. Good work. They got three players remaining on the side. They kind of left it open. I don't know if you saw it too, but they all pushed orange. No one was checking the right, moving towards that blue area. Um, which, uh, you know, it's funny. Now HQ, you, you yeah. Some... HQ, that was it. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate. I mean, the, f the smoke on the B entry is completely denied the visuals on the side because they were defusing the bomb. They had no idea what was happening. Mm -hmm. That is just a joke. Definitely something you want to you want to make sure to at least check out on HQ. It's pretty it's pretty easy for the coalition side to move up that area and get a pretty decent amount of uh, get a pretty decent amount of leverage or a little bit ahead of you. And uh, you can see that smoke is down again. They got it nice and covered. Not something that I would say is optimal. Um, but um, when you finally see some aggression here, Snoopy taking out Zelo, maybe a little bit more. XC is the only player there on the B side. Will they be taking him down? That smoke is hindering him quite a bit. Ottawa might be able to use this to his advantage. And yes, he does. He is using that to his advantage. And look at that. Not too shabby. Ooh, oh, oh, what a peek from Ottawa. The jump mm -hmm. peek straight in the head of Shadow. Oh, what a way to end the round. Oh my god. Well, bomb was not even planned, so no extra money once again. But Exe with a very nice position right there. Um, watching the edge of the smoke. Peeking the guy orange. Getting that one pick, but not a ready... Or I think it was Ottawa who was playing B-Long. And uh, he catch him off guard while he was walking through the smoke. Watching B-Long. Even though he was more closer to Vent Hall. I mean, same thing is going to happen again. Bomb is going to go mid. It's a um, B-split. Same thing is going to happen on the mid position. Not actually. There's an eco round coming. Ooh, a big impact on his eco round. Two B-Long players dead. All the rest is on mid. And they know it. They're pushing. They want these guns. And they need it. Bomb crossed. The flash comes in before the peak. He lose crosses on site. Bomb is gonna get planted. Easy peasy. And there's three on three with only Bomb has been cheap planted. The revolver guns. though, that's not something we see too often. Usually eagles are uh, favored. Look at that beautiful there. Picking up the AUG, but being a little bit too busy with picking up and not with making sure that his uh, surroundings are in check. Oh, they're not ready for it. What an eco round was that? I mean, it was a nice eco round, but a loose. Completely oh. sounding and them out and getting an easy peasy double kill. Catching up the scoreboard as well. What a kill was that. 
that was beautiful. You can see the way he was attempting that surprise was kind of similar to what we saw with Volgren there towards elbow on Canals. I don't know if you remember that. He got caught, of course, in that situation. But here, this is what you would call a successful way where you do, in fact, surprise the enemy as the last player remaining in a 1v2. And that worked perfectly. That was exactly how, how people want to make it, make it count. And uh, he did it. He made it count, and it worked in his favor there on, here on this map. Uh, which is great. So bring it out indeed to a four versus Oh, and four. Shadow is in this beautiful position right here. Finding one, finding double. Has to watch out for these sprays. Mosia finds one. Mylan goes down as well. Bomb is down as well. Two players left. Xello finding one with a headshot and finding the other one as well. What a peak. What a hold. And five rounds on the board. Thanks to Xello and his perfect crosshair placement on the heads of these enemies on the side of Merciless. That was... Gorgeous. Merciless was not even standing a chance in that position there, that little area. And it is definitely something that, you know, we usually tend to see Bullet Mafia prevail in. Uh, and we, we, we saw it yet again. Really able to lock down these positions. We've seen it before with two players towards H, uh, towards Intel. Not something we see too often. But um, it, it tends to work in some situations. You do want to have some players being ready uh, to, to, to take those shots in case someone were to go down towards a banana. Especially if there's a lot of aggression. There's quite a tight spot. If, if there's a full team pushing that, you do want to... Uh, uh, Exercise with caution. We do see Mullet Mafia again. Four players getting taken down. Completely obliterating this so-called B push from Mercy. And look at that. Ottawa able to at least shut down Novocaine. But quickly making himself uh, present on the map. Ottawa, another one. Oh, not too bad here from Ottawa. But the pressure is too much. And Zelo shuts him down. Gets the pull. Yeah, I mean, they kind of get the hang on how they play on the, the mid position. They uh, There's always, I think it is, um, let me see his scoreboard. I mean, it is always, I think, there was Novocaine always waiting on his mid position and waiting for them for any smokes or anything else. He drops a flash for his teammate and then he rushes in towards Orange while the second flash is getting thrown. So, three-man stack on mid as well. Just as the last round, but now it's just different because there is no flash coming in. A smoke for the two first pillars is coming in. A flash for the backside. And I think the B side is completely theirs. Towards Hecklitch. No one's on Hecklitch. Oh, look, it's, it's a free site. It's a free site. No one's defending it. Who's defending it? They, they only, they're only down one player. So who are, where are the players on the B site? Look, this is... What? This is this is very weird coming in from Bullet Mafia. This is not something you would expect a team like that to... To, to make a mistake on but look at that four players remaining and nobody nobody is paying attention to, to the fact that there's no one on the b site that the fence might be open and they're just letting themselves get crushed that was that was a pretty big mistake pretty big yeah error. that was pretty uh, weird was as well yeah i don't know you, you, you don't see that too often in grand finals never in never one. especially not from mullet mafia or maybe there was a switch up in in, in play style how do you play and they had to adjust to it for a few seconds and then they go, i'm going there you're going there but I don't know. Nobody was paying attention to the B side. Look, there's three players now on the B side. But for some reason, there were four people remaining on the previous round with no one on the B side. That's odd. But yeah, anyways, a bit oh. of a communication error. We do see Merciless still pushing through. We see Snoopy with a double there. Ottawa Milan getting two more frags. And Shadow, last player standing with that. I think it's the uh, new AR? Or the new Scar. The Scar. It's shutting down line. Snoopy able to shut down Shadow with the SG. Six to six. And. That's a That's strong hole. That is a real strong hole for Merciless. It is indeed. And they deserve it. Based on the mistakes that Mullet Mafia made there, they deserve to get that comeback there. In terms yeah, of they rounds. got punished for the mistakes as well. And at the same time, this is a perfect stereotype for um, Merciless. I mean, they're all NA players right now. I don't think there are any more people on, from EU on there. And mm -hmm. some way, like, NA is known for being so aggressively on peaks and pushes and everything else, so... They stormed at B-Side, B-Side like it was a big war or anything else. Ooh, 24 HP, Novocaine got away quite, quite, quite quick with that uh, with that headshot. Otherwise, it would have been pretty bad. One more tap and he would have been gone. Or maybe barely on one HP, depending on where he got hit. Now again, this time, Mullet Mafia is not going to stick to Lab 2 and actually move towards the A-Side, get that bomb plant. We did see a lot of B-Pushes. Maybe we might see a bit more diversity coming in. From Mullet Mafia, now the pistol round already starting off with the eight side being pushed here. Oh wow! Did you see those red dots on the map? I would be, I would be uh, pissing my pants right now. I'm not gonna lie. If I was standing there with 24 HP, that is a uh, tight hold. There goes Novocaine. He'll lose. Punches him for standing there with that low HP. Ah, 
that is not something you want to be doing. Mosia in the last player standing. A lot of players got shut down. Now Shadow being shut down too, but they get a decent Okay, Mosia on 21 HP. Not too bad. Very close though. Aki has to move. But look at that. He stopped defusing. Could have maybe gotten away with a defuse there. Not too shabby here from Aki. That was a really Very close. I mean, if he maybe sticked it, there was a chance. But at the same time, he was so scared he was going to be CT. He even tried to peek it. And at the end of the day, it was not the best decision. I mean, sticking was maybe it. But that was something he couldn't know. So, Like a defuse and then listening for where he's coming from. You know, if he is, in fact, slowly peeking, he would probably not be on lab one. They did have a lot of players already moving across lab one. And they would have gotten enough information over there that there was no one there. Uh, get them all the way from kitchen. So it was it was kind of obvious in that sense, but maybe in the heat of the moment, not paying attention to that. Oh, look at this. They're all going into intel. That's something you don't yeah. see a lot of times. I mean, ooh, all the way with a nice double kill. Getting traded away by Xello now, but three on two. Still have the bomb. Aki with a kill. And now it's Xello doing some big damage, but it's Exe finishing the complete round. Oh my god. What a... That was a smart way to completely go into... into into Intel. I mean, that's something you don't see. You don't see very often. Maybe one, two players, but the whole team going at Intel. That's crazy. Yeah. You caught them off guard, especially on that rotation from B to A. Uh, that is that is something you see usually when you want to push on Intel. Uh, one thing I was getting a little scared about was that double kill with the Deagle and that pistol. I was oh, okay, yes. triple <laughs> on an eco round. Hold on a second. There already. Two, I feel like already when you get two frags on an eco round, you're already there's already something going on, something snippy going on, and usually that already has a decent amount of economical damage. So I always praise the team that gets two frags on an eco round. I find that pretty decent, uh, considering the level, you know, and especially with the spraying, it's 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 pretty difficult. Uh, but when you get to three, that's when I start to shiver a bit. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Are we gonna start swapping sides? Because they're gonna be starting to pick up these weapons. You get on the same level, right? Similar uh, playing field. Okay, now we get Aki. Taking down a lose, Ottawa. How many shot down Aki? It's a four versus two now with Zelo holding the bomb all the way towards the other side here on B Long. Looks like they need to maybe come and meet each other, get ready for a push to uh, anywhere, whatever they desire. And it looks like Shadow and wants to go for mid on this rush. And there we go. We do see Snoopy getting taken down. Well, what are we gonna? I feel like we're playing that match here. I don't know if you've, if you've played that match back in the old. I don't know if you've played uh, custom games a lot. Uh, but what I used to do is just stand here and just keep shooting everyone who keeps pushing. So uh, it kind of felt like that for a second, but it looks like we finally see a push coming here on B Long. Pretty slow and now starting to make some noise. 30 seconds on the clock, looking pretty decent. Not too shabby. Time is still ticking though. z -Low, they're making a bit of noise. We see that rotation from my line. Ottawa is also really locking down to position 20 seconds. They know that they got to come out and move towards the B side and get that bomb line. They know that they need to you know, apply a bit more pressure on my line. And Musia are going to take those down. Zelo and Shadow both get punished. Not a lot of time to work with. 7-8, to eight, pretty clean. Not too bad. And that's what Merciless has got to deal with so far. Um... And they do indeed, indeed get, I think they got the third round here on the board. So not too bad. They did. Mm -hmm. It's back and no, forth after the half. The first half was pretty much the same, back and forth. I mean, some strats can be prevented, some are not, and that's how they play it out. It's an eco one very, as well. Uh, will they be able to get a frag or two? That was pretty nice. Aye, aye, aye. Nah, too tight. Yeah, Aki off, yeah, doing... Not been the king of these eco rounds, man. <laughs> That's true. Right. Even though Aki did a lot of damage on the, the... I don't know who it was, but it was two head or like a headshot and three body shots or something, and it was not enough. Mm. Well, look at this knife combo. Oh, my God. Yeah, that fits. It, is, it, is, it fits very well. It is It is an old skin, though. It's not something that uh, has been released uh, very recently. It's, it's, That's it's true. been here for a round. Yeah, and while. still it fits very nice, uh, like the combo. It's, I like it. It's good. For some reason, for some reason, it also. Oh, did you see that knife and the Glock combo? There? <laughs> we're, we're, are, are we gonna just simp over people that are combos with their skins? <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Bring it back to the game. We do see a uh, stabilization here as well. Eight to eight. Really trying to stable th uh, stabilize things out. Mercer's now as well on the coalition side. You have to keep in mind. I don't know why they picked this map. I don't know which side is their favorite. Uh, but getting their server and that coalition side. Ooh, my line, that triple. Zelo, Shadow, Novocaine all get shut down. Felt like eco frags there for a second. Bringing it back to a four versus two. We see that slow move here with Exe. You have to keep in mind, they don't have Volgren. They don't have Malik. They got two substitutes here playing uh, for, for whatever reason. Um, 
Uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's a map specific reason, or maybe they just can't play right now. So uh, this this could be pretty tight for Mullet Mafia um, in terms of their strength at the moment. Lose taking down Ozzy. It's a four versus one, and a lose comes in with a double. Look at that X. He also getting shut down. Bring it to it nine to eight, and Merciless is taking the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Yeah, they're they're adapting to the strats. I mean, it's it's hard to play on CT side, even though you know what strats they're gonna use. I mean, NA against EU is just some some big controversy that's going on for a while now. And I mean, NA plays so much more different than EU, so they're gonna have to adapt and even adapt more than than they're already doing. My line with a triple kill. Oh my god, gets down by Xello by the headshot, but still it's not enough. Bomb has dropped. Two on four, big impact. That was painful. I mean, at least they got a pick in return. This is, again, Mullet Mafia, kind of, uh, from what I've seen so far. From the Utex got completely taken down. Wins. There it goes. Only one frag. Better than none. Better than none. But still, kind of detrimental. And an eco round, at least from what I see, what I usually like to see. I don't know what you like to see, Bobby, on an eco round. Is at least, like, a bomb plant or two picks. That, that's, that, that would be great. Like, that's usually what, what, I, uh, what I love to see. Uh, from a team, but uh, just only one frag. It's kind of like barely anything, you know, in terms of the economical damage you're trying to output and trying to like, bring back in terms of money, in terms of maybe saving weapons or whatever. Just one pick is, is, is not too great. It is true. We like to see some crazy plays and some crazy strats as well on eco rounds. I mean, on eco rounds, you always do something more crazy than you do on gun rounds or like full buy rounds. So, some of the times oh, you see sure. like Really crazy rounds game. Mosia now here on the mid position, knowing there is one more. We haven't seen any shotguns. We haven't seen any shotguns. Usually, I mean, on mid, that could work, right? Especially on eco. Kind of an aggressive push. Looks like not today. Merciless. Like yeah, they're they're out. alive and kicking right now. I mean, they know MFA got the first match and they want this one back. So they're alive and kicking and making it work. Two rounds in advance of uh, MFA. For sure, for sure. That is that is definitely uh, something to to, uh, to look out for. Now, let's see how they will how they will continue this. I mean, they're already ahead by three rounds, two rounds away from victory. It's, it's looking pretty tough here, Molt Mafia. They haven't really uh, shown as much shine coming in from the breach side but ever since that eco round towards Banana. I haven't really seen much action that I can be like, oh, that's not too bad. Look at that Zelo Novakan already getting taken out. Really well. Look at how much map control they're gaining here on that mid section. Everything is getting taken away. The bomb is down. It's kind of a mess here. And then Shadow, Sniper all the way behind with the ratio, two shots taken, but not given. Oh, okay. Not too bad. My line gets taken now. We see uh, kind of an, 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 uh, kind of a desperate attempt there, trying to maybe get someone through the smoke, but it looks like Merciless is not letting that happen. They got a nice hold over that bomb. They're not going to get rid of that. They want to win this one. And maybe he can catch someone off guard with greed. Now, he's not going to fully push through, of course. As a Sniper, you are vulnerable after that first shot is taken. So it looks like he won't be fully pushing through towards that bomb. But we do see an opportunity. Ottawa is holding a nice off angle here. You can see that head is going to get popped the moment someone tries to walk past that angle. Now, Xe is making some moves. He's walking around Coalition Spawn, and time is ticking. I don't know if they're going to be able to pick up this bomb. Yeah, we see Mossy on the other side of this end right here. Exe slowly trying to go closer. They have no idea. Oh, still finds the kill with a headshot. Just to watch out bad. now for this last player. They know the bomb is on mid. They almost took it. They have it, but there are 20 seconds left. Now they're just gonna have to go fast. They lose. Not oh finding them both. God. Shadow was sharp it's aim on the head. And lose goes down. Ottawa finds one and finds a second. One more round. It's map point right here. What a nice oh. play by Ottawa. Mullet Mafia, they got so close, man. They they would have won that round, wouldn't it be for the for the head glitch position Ottawa had there? Oh wow, that was uh, that was quite tight. Yeah, that was a very good position as well. I mean, he knew mm -hmm. that there there were 20 seconds left and they couldn't go back to the to the A side, so he just stacked on the back side on the back head glitch. And with that flash comes in, he wasn't flash at all and gets those two kills and it's it's over. It's almost over. One more round. Sometimes you also tend to see them moving towards HQ, waiting for uh, the bomb to be planted, then trying to go for that other player. They're trying to go for the shots, trying to defend the guy planting the bomb. But that was also an excellent way of exercising that situation. Two versus three. This time we might see Mullet Mafia pull out a little measle, measly little round. Now on the previous one, I think we saw 13 to 9, if I'm not mistaken. So in terms of round balance, they got to at least get another round here on the board. 
or it might have been 13 to 8, I don't remember it quite it's well. All down to Ottawa right now. Finds one with the bomb in his hands. Oh, he catch off guard with the wrong weapon. I mean, you can't throw the bomb from that far, buddy. It's Exy now, 74 HP or 47 HP. And Ottawa, here's the sound cues. He knows he's going back to lap. Smokes it out, so he thinks he's going to roll. Maybe this is a smart play that's getting used right silent, here. Though. No noise, no footsteps. Ottawa might be... Figuring this out pretty soon, though. Exy, look at how slow... Every it is so fun to watch this because they both have absolutely no idea where they are. And we both know exactly what's going to happen. Exy's taking his sweet, sweet time. 30 seconds. 30 seconds is more than enough. And uh, it's, it's it's creating confusion because, you know, there's no footsteps moving fastly, rapidly towards mid. Um, it could also be a slow walk and then a pretty close call towards the B site. You never really know. Ottawa... Is he hearing the bomb plant? Bomb has been planted. No, he's yeah, not. He knows he doesn't hear. Now he knows, yeah. There's no know, an audio is. coming from the B site. This is it, the 1v1. Who small do you think is going to win, Bobby? The small oh. gap does it. The small gap does it. I knew it. Oh, he wasn't prepared for that. There's one angle he didn't check. And it was a small gap. MFA taking us one more round again. What a nice, well played. A good play of Exy. Like the sound cues. Giving him infos that he's going out of lab, at the, at the same time smoking and going back to the B site. Ottawa was not ready for that and he caught another round. Mm -hmm. There's still hope for uh, MFA. Definitely. Mullet Mafia, not too bad coming in with there with Exy clutching out that round. That was so, so nice. He lost his member there and it made, him, it made it pretty tight. Had to smoke it off, try and play it. Play cool. And he did and he got away with it. Now they gotta play it a whole lot of different. To get four rounds in a row. Remember, four rounds in a row. That's uh, quite a thing you have to do there on the breach side and not on your own servers. A lot of things are against you in this in this situation. Now the A side is looking quite nice. We didn't. We still haven't seen much of the A side. So that's something that we do wanna do wanna. We have we haven't seen much. We haven't seen me Bobby, you alright? Could, could you could you mute yourself for a second? <laughs> Just mute yourself. Oh, okay. okay. Alright, so Illuz getting the double there. Aki and Zelo getting two takedowns. Shadow actually comes in. Oh, Bullet Mafia could go for the takedown here on this round. This could be absolutely oh, amazing planted. in terms of round balance for them. This is something that they want. It's something you want to see for Bullet Mafia. And we're coming in for that takedown. Look at that. Beautiful bomb plant. Beautiful position. And we only have my line remaining. Trying to go for a few picks upwards. No, not spotting anyone yet. He's in a difficult spot, though. He's going to find three players and defuse a bomb. This is not something you want to do when you're in my line's position. Finds one out of ammo, and XC shuts him down 12 to 10. And look at that. Round balance already in favor of Mullet Mafia. Yep, everything can still happen now. They're two rounds down, I think. Yeah, there it is. Mercer is gonna gonna. gonna um... Oh no, never mind. They're still buying. I thought they were gonna go eco round, but um, it's Orcs on the back. Tier seven Orc and another Orc on the backs of Merciless. So everything can still happen. MFA is doing a real good job on coming these rounds back. I mean, they find small openings and they're using it in their advantage so bad, and it's working in their favor as well. So I mean, if they keep on doing this, could be end of ending up all fine. But um. Both teams now are playing really slow. Really scaredy cats, actually. I mean, they're waiting for the first picks to make this, those openings, those entry plays, but um, nothing happening. They have his med control. Orange is completely there, so a B push would be available only for the B side entry. So a bomb is going to get dropped, and they're going to go closer towards A side. Player is going to get spotted, actually. I think. Yep, they spotted one on the lap. Novocaine and Shadow both there watching it. Not getting any picks i mean they know they have to get this mid some nades and smokes coming in quite a bit Bash of damage well. for the yeah. for a nade now it is going to be a very very important situation that they're going to create here nova can get a shut down merciless they got the upper hand they've got to make their move 40 seconds not a lot of time to work with again mullet mafia they're really letting time pass oh, by. and snoopy has this has a sound cues he knows he's going to be b-side he's going to get smoked spraying the smokes ending up with nothing that's 
still. I would do the same thing here. 25 seconds, not much time. Forced. Oh, make no. that force. 20 seconds. Oh, they got to move towards B. 90 seconds and towards A. Oh, that is a risky move. Aki, if he got taken down, it would have been over. But it looks like it's not the case. Oh, this is tight. This is tight. I was not. I mean, fair enough. Fair play. They got to make sure they well, survive while moving there. Look at that shadow. Snoopy and the lose all get taken down. They make good use of the fact that Merciless was not having any players outside of the B site. And they had too much control. They were not rotating in time. I thought maybe they would be able to rotate in time. Shut down Aki or something. But look at that. Masia, last player standing. Shutting down Xy, but he's got to take down three more players to make it count. And that okay, is Masia actually maybe. finding two now. Possible. He's going to go for that direct peek. Oh. oh, wow. That was close. That was a very nice individual effort, but didn't end up winning that round. Even though he gets actually two, and it's, it's going to be a big impact in the economy of a uh, mullet mafia but uh still match merciless. point for merciless can we see the weapons of merciless and oh wow look at that eagles okay so we're probably gonna see a 12 to 12 depending on the uh if we look at just utility alone unless they really really mess up <laughs> sometimes you see it look at that my line coming with the tap on zelo with the deagle he's able to find the sg it looks like they might be able to quickly figure out they're an eco. If they go for that heavy push towards the A side, it might already be good enough. When the P came on a B long, so they have the infos that nobody's on B long and mm -hmm. it could be an A push, but uh, they're going slowly back. They're playing it so safe, even though they're all just on Deagles. Look at that. If they get backstabbed here, though, it could be. It could actually still be over. That push, Quick take Broken, down, he's down. Lose taking down Merciless. Oh, this is a tight one, Bobby. I like it. Oh, he's coming in. Mossy actually finding one for the backstab. It's down oh. Aki with the trade. And there is 12 12. Aki with the double kill. Back on this mid position. Finds the way. 12 12 match point for both teams. And it's gonna be a groundbreaker this last map. This last round. Last map would have been crazy, but yeah, it is indeed, indeed the round, uh, last round. Um, but it might it might be one of the last maps we might see. If this is going to be a 2-0 from Mullet Mafia, then yeah, the next one could be the last map. Mullet Mafia on their servers, their map. This is uh, this is a whole different view, but now they have their economy on their side. They can still make it through. They can get a little too confident. Illuse, can he get a pick? No pick on the side. A push towards the vents. No one's checking the vents yet. Masia finds Shadow. This could be huge. Not too shabby here from Masia. That was a golden pick early on. Now, Zelo, when will he peak those vents? He's still still being patient there. See, Merciless, no one's actually checking it, like, as in, like, going into the vents and checking it. They're all playing the long game. They got that first pick. They want to let Mullet Mafia bleed out before they even get close towards the site. No, Novocaine has the bomb. If he gets taken down, it might be over. This is a, uh, this is quite a, uh, they're, they're very fragile here, Bobby. They're very fragile. Yeah, they have no idea what they're gonna do because time is taken down and still they're all around B side. They're moved up in vents now. Bomb is gonna get like entry is gonna get smoked and flashed at the same time. Naded as well. Snoop is gonna have a hard time. Finds one. Oh, Not finding the second one. Cello on the side right here. Has to watch out from a lose on the front side. Bomb is down. He finds him. It's now a it's one v two. My line all the way towards the A side. Ottawa still needs to fully rotate. He's picking up the bomb. Thirty seconds. Will you rotate towards A? Is that really what he's gonna do? Ottawa is going to wait for him if he does that. 25 seconds. He's got to make a choice right now. And the best choice right now is to go for that bomb plant. He's going for it. 20 seconds. Again, spending so much time. Ottawa. He's going for that rotation. We can see that push coming in from B-Long. My line. Throwing in a nade. Oh, that is Oh, and he spotted time. the head of him. Oh, he's way ahead of him now. Zelo is going to get taken up behind. Him. No, he's not. That flex is going to hurt. He's going to get taken over behind. There comes Ottawa. GG well played, though. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh. <laughs> that was a hard one to deal with. Uh, almost a comeback, and then the one round, they completely got it back from them. That's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate. Yeah, I have to give it to them, though. That was well played for Mullet Mafia. They really stood their ground, and th this was so incredibly close. Um... But that, that was wild. Wow, Bobby. Uh, do you have any other comments other than that? I mean, we, we did notice that he really tried his best at that very last little point. Uh, but, oh, I mean, I don't know what to say, man. That, that, that must have hurt because he got so close. He got that bomb plant. He, he, was, he was unable to, to really continue.
that little momentum that he had. He had that flash in his face. Someone was pushing from HQ. It was the pressure was just too much, and he wasn't able to handle it. Oh, it it it, it sucks because he might be able to do it on a one on one situation there quick. But um, but they played it well. You know, they were the yes. last two plays remaining. They pushed him at the same time. It was very strategic coming in from them. And uh, I got to give it to them. GG well played to Merciless. They get themselves another uh, another uh, map on their side. This also makes it easier for you. You, get, you don't have to move around the dot anymore. So uh, we got ourselves two dots on both sides. Well played, Merciless. Yeah, that's true. I mean, at the end, uh, Snoopy coming in as a sub was a very smart decision. The, the, the guy got uh, 23 kills, I think it was. 23 with uh, Ottawa below him with 22 kills. And then Mosia following up with uh, 21 kills. I mean... Very nice, well played. Uh, the the subs, sub standing was a very nice, um, a very nice decision. And at the other half, I don't know why Vilgrant was gone. Maybe he has to go sleep. Maybe he has an angry mom. Who knows? Guess we never know. But um, there was Axie coming in and Novocaine as well. Novocaine unfortunately not playing that good. I mean, he made he made good um, he made good contact. Like every other kill he got was like a very good impact kill, an opening kill, where he could actually do something with within the round itself. But um, Unfortunately for um, for them, it's uh, merciless taking it away. We will oh. take three winners again, I think. Yeah, sure, let's go. So everybody, uh... um, spam your IGNs. We will go in a small break, and after the break is over, we will uh, pick three winners. So uh, everybody, try to spam your IGN and ID in the comment section in the live chat, and uh, we will pick them right after the break. So everybody, hang tight, stay here, and uh, we'll pick three winners with one event case each. Off this break. See you guys in a second. See you guys.
Okay, we are back. And we are back with another giveaway. So uh, we saw some people spamming in the chat. That's amazing. We're still waiting for the second or the third map to get hosted. It's on Raid this time. But in the meantime, we're going to pick some um, giveaways because we have some people spamming in the chat. So Arde, you can go ahead and take... Pick the first one. <laughs> I can pick the first? No, I mean, uh, you, you you pick the first one in the first giveaway. I'm going to pick the first one in this giveaway. We're All right. Keep it fair. That's all good, right, that's right. good. Let's, go ahead. Let's, all right, I'm going to eeny, meeny, miny, moe, and just, there we go. Okay, <laughs> we got ourselves the first one. Um, So let me go ahead and get my snipping tool. We're going to be snipping out this little guy. And uh, the winner here, uh, from my end, Skater Shrew. Skater Shrew, am I saying that properly? I don't know, I'm sending it over with your UID, your name and your UID. Uh, sending that over to the chat. So congratulations. Um, I think they want the same thing. thing same thing we got going on, right? Event cases. Yep. We got one event case per winner. So congratulations, uh, Patrick on YouTube. Skater Shrew and Critical Ops. Congratulations with your first uh, event winner case. So you may proceed now, Bobby. Yes, thank you. Um, my winner will be, um, I don't know if I pronounce it, Pratik, Pratik with the um, account of abroad so uh, uh congratulations congratulations on your uh, event case there you go and then we have a uh, one last and okay. i'm gonna do the honors for you you can pick him so all right let's go i'll be doing this and this and that all right and we got ourselves okay interesting there we got <laughs> g-u-h-t or something it's uh, from murky from youtube uh, Murky's name on YouTube, his name is in the game is J U H T. So Jut, Jut, Jut. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. I'm coughing trying to say it. Um, so, uh, but yeah, congratulations. Final winner coming in. Uh, hopefully, everyone typed their UID properly because uh, one small error can cause. Uh, oh, we're seeing a lot of people spamming uh, right afterwards. That is, is everyone always spams right after we actually announce the winners? That's a little bit late, everyone. I'm so sorry. Uh, but uh, <laughs> obviously there's a delay as well, so most of you guys uh, are typing this as we're uh, as we just got the giveaways going on. So um, it looks like they're ready. I'm seeing some players typing in ready. We got ten out of ten people in the room, so we're just waiting for Bobby to also get ready, and we're gonna start off with the third map, which is on raid, ladies and gentlemen. This map pick was done by, if I'm not mistaken, Mullet Mafia. This will be played on European servers, correct? Yes, okay. So this is going to be quite an exciting match. Hope you guys are all down to see this one go uh, through through, through quite quite a battle because we saw we saw a pretty cl close match on the second map, Bureau. It was 13 to 12. Or Raid would be Merciless's pick. Okay, yes. Uh, we started off with... Uh, so it was Merciless's pick first. Then we had Mullet Mafia. And then we had Merciless's pick. Okay. Got it. Uh, I did realize that I was making a small error. Uh, with the M's, so I initially thought that Mullet Mafia's logo was the right one. They both have an M in their logo, uh, so a small error there. But uh, again, uh, just a small correction there. So we started off with the, the map pick from from uh, what's it called map pick from uh, from Merciless, then Mullet Mafia, now Merciless again on raid, we'll waiting it out, seeing how this knife round will go. So Bobby, let's see, uh, let's see how this knife goes. Oh, that's that's not a knife. That was a gun. Okay. Yeah, there was some small issue. I saw some people saying not life, so. I think it's gonna get restarted in a second. Okay. Reach wins. Oh. Interesting. Sometimes when they do that, they don't care. They're like, oh, you pick a side, and they start shooting. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. And then, then it's all about kills. <laughs> oh, yeah, then it's just uh, it's just uh, trying to stack up those custom game kills. Oh, we all know that. We all oh. know how it goes. That is true, that is true. The KD for the custom game kills is just the ego, you know? It's the ego, ego of the game. So uh, we're starting off with the knife for real this time. Got ourselves some little mafia. Can you check the? Can we check who's in game this time? Oh, do we have Fulcrum back? Oh wait, we do have Malik. There we go. So, okay, Malik's in here. We have Xe, but we don't have Fulcrum. Oh okay. And we do have Vape back as well. Vape is? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think he was. Or I don't remember him being on bureau, but. Uh... Look at this guy. He's oh, he's going up and out. He's jumping up and out. <laughs> <laughs> nice, what a no, flawless it's... round. A flawless knife pick. That's funny, uh, okay. I think it was... At, uh, I think... Is Snoopy still here? Can we do a check up on that? I think... So, Vape replaced... No, Snoopy's here. Yeah, Snoopy's but Vape still here. Re was re Vape was replaced on the previous one. Yep. Okay. Vape was replaced by uh, Myline. So, Myline is gone right now. And... Uh, 
Vape is now playing his place. Ooh. And now Novocaine is gone. And Malik, Malik is yeah. back. Yep, Malik is back. Okay. So first round, here we go. Eco round. A very hard B stack. And from the other side, it's also going to be B, B stack with one on the mid for the lurk. And it's going to be slow because I mean, if you make one loud step, it's all over. So slowly going up in heaven. Going to go full monkey mode and all jump out. But, uh, that would be quite a quite a quite an interesting thing. Unfortunately, they won't be able to hang. It would be funny if you could hang a hang around those those little lamps on top, but uh, they're not they're not that strong with their upper body strength. You see that drop down? Aki coming with the first pick. Malik, look at all that wall bang shots coming in from Mullah Mafia. Malik and Aki getting two more, three more takedowns. The shadow comes in with another headshot on Masia. Last player standing here for Merciless, trying to beat it down. He lose too much pressure, too much. Even for, for the pistol round, it's just too much. First round going to Mold Mafia on Raid, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty good start. But we'll have to see how this eco round now goes. We, uh, we tend to see Merciless uh, pull, out a, pull out a weird one. They tend to do that. I think the stream is lagging a little bit. Let me lower it a bit, right, a oh, little okay. bit. So we should be fine right now. Okay, we're back on a steady yeah, I one. Noticed a, I noticed a small hiccup. There you go. What's up, Bobby? <laughs> Good to hear you back, man. Got to sell us a flash coming in. Malik, take some shots. Flash comes through as well. Oh, wow, my entire face is just turning white. Oh, wow. my, and the bomb is planted that already. Was quite a flashbang. Yeah. That was Pretty real fast. Merciless. Again, this is an eco round. Mm hmm. Pretty good. Oh, we, see, the we see Mosia here, just behind the smoke with a knife in his hands, waiting for the, for the smoke. Oh, and he oh, just oh, gets oh. it! Malik from the other side takes it down. XZ as well, but they're pushing through the smokes now. Now it's all full monkey mode. Oh, wow. And they're gonna have to watch out. Hilarious. Oh, Vape and Ilu is both finding there. one. Not too bad. Malik comes in with a the double there. We got Vape and Ilu is both getting shut down. Hey, they got two frags. That's true. The bomb. <laughs> That's I, true. I, I told them they got best of both worlds, man. This is not bad. Not a bad eco round coming from Merciless. And of course, nice try with the knife. Being a little bit goofy there. Um, but, uh, I don't know if I would call it monkey mode, but, you know, a little goofy, a little, 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 little bit of an interesting move. Sometimes this can be good. You know, technically speaking, no, actually, economically speaking, knife kills do give you more money. It, that is true, so... Statistically, this was, this could have been just a smart move, you know, you never know. Oh, it's a lineup here from... Also, okay, and a lot of time of smoke and a flash. And maybe a fast... Yeah, A push, but they're a lot behind, they're a lot on CT, a flash comes in. Full blinded. Let's take a look. All three on archway. Malik now pointing in towards this tunnels. Bomb is gonna go back, and they're all three creeped up in his corner. And Nate comes in for just on the A side. And Nate a reply, a flash a reply, and nothing happening so far. Xe wants to make his move. He's 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 kind of he's kind of playing it patient, playing it careful, and starting to move back towards that ventilation shaft. Yeah, and I think as long as Vape doesn't spot anyone on the backstab, then they're all safe. Like, they think they're gonna rotate, and they're still here, actually, so... It's the surprise yeah. effect, just only getting big, bigger. Now the That's smoke is gonna be there for 30 seconds, which is gonna be Ooh. hard to deal with, but... I think you're gonna find a way around it. You can what see... What about that shotgun, by the way? I don't know if you know much about that, Bobby, but that, there was this shotgun that was kind of broken for a while, wasn't it? Did yeah. It nerf? Is it still being used? I mean, it was called the KSG and it was yeah. so overpowered, but at the end of the day, like a few months after, it got nerfed and it got way less good, so now... Maybe on this oh. map, like, I mean, tunnels could maybe a strat yeah. to, like, go straight into tunnels. Even on the A side, you know, you got that smoke down, it, could be, it, would, it wouldn't be that much of a bad idea to have a, some sort of a shotgun nearby, but it looks like they won't be executing any type of ideas in, in that direction. Mostly just assault rifles. Oh, and there it is, auto like With yeah, the especially... fast entry kills. Quick little bomb plant. But wouldn't you agree that, you know, on raid, if you're on the coalition side, it's not that much of a bad idea to still maybe even stick to shotguns. You know, there's a lot of close areas that you can just hold. It's not that hard. Yeah, that is true. But sometimes if you're if you're completely on the enemy, you can still get, like, a hit mark. And that's just... Oh, Ottawa jumping over. Finding one. Oh, Exe in the, in the replace. Lose. Oh, this is domino effect. 1v1 now. Shadow playing from the other side of the smoke. Oh, he's gonna have to watch out now. Oh, vape. He's gonna move right through, man. He's got no other choice. He might. Oh, actually, he realized. What a smart fake. play! Oh, shadow. Oh, Tapping the bomb once again, but re-peeking him. And there is time to defuse it. It's a third round for a mullet mafia. What a play there! Yeah, 
3 and 0, pretty close, not too shabby. Even after that eco round, they know they had the bomb plant as well. They had two players getting taken out economically. They had that little bit of upward momentum they could make use of on the third round. But they didn't push through fully. They weren't able to lock it down, and they're actually going to give Molt Mafia that third round. So, yeah, but it was close. It was close indeed. Would have been nice if Vape was a little bit closer towards the site. Um, but yeah, he wasn't going fully for the defuse. Maybe he could have waited out longer, but you never know. They might re-defuse. And you might not be able to hear it because of the smoke or some other audio kicking in. And that's when you can start losing the round. So you had to make that move forward. You didn't have much of a choice. Nate coming down. Oh, and someone passed him. Ottawa is going to get pushed by Smo Snoopy, but there's another player into the tons and he just passed him. Yeah, that is Snoopy. Not, not finding one. There is a smoke. Malik. Finally getting shut down there. Elused. He was kind of wandering around. I don't know. That, that that felt so odd. You're you're protecting the bomb site, but at the same time, you've got one of the players from the coalition site just in the middle of huh? How did that even happen? How how did we even get to that point? How did it even get past you? Very yeah. odd. But it worked. It, it, for some reason, it happened there, and uh, we, we, at least they were able to still, of course, win out the round. That would have been pretty weird if they lost that one. Uh, yeah, the smoke was in a real weird position. It's made them. <laughs> I mean, rethink what they were doing, but now a very fast A push, not holding back at all, just full on. Flash comes in and turns, which is smart. Snoopy's gonna straight push into there. Nobody's seeing there because it's smoked. It's an eco. Down. Ooh, it's an eco as well. Probably a stack towards B is what I'm assuming, or anything uh, that involves stacking. And now that they know that there's a bomb plan on the A site, it's uh, it's just a, maybe one kill. Okay, not too bad. Ooh, okay, you lose. Another jumping yeah. shot, we saw one on Bureau, we see one on Raid now as well. Okay, he Shadow with him. Does own the M4, did he buy it or did he just hold it? This is pretty odd, he's gonna probably just save it obviously, because there ain't no way he's gonna be able to take down three players and defuse the bombs in the we, we see it sometimes, but not that often. Ooh, how much How much HP will Shadow lose if he stays here? I think he will lose some, no? Oh no, <laughs> okay! <laughs> I'm not that familiar, but usually I tend to move away a little bit more. Yeah, raid um, can be so hard for saving, even though the bomb is taken down as gonna go go kaboom. And then if you're still not far enough, then it's 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 weird on this map. Sometimes you're. You would think you would think the wall would help you a little bit. Like the walls would at least protect you. Yeah. That it's critical ops, guys. Come on. That's <laughs> <laughs> not how it works. Um, yeah, no, you're pretty close, especially in that B side, in that corner. You're pretty close towards the A side. Let's just say if you go. If you could technically go through walls, uh, then you would be able to be the closest possible, respectively, to the other side. So yeah, it would still do a lot of damage. Good, good, good call on that one, uh, Bobby. That was definitely yes, the case. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you just witnessed it, but it was, it was a uh, Malik finding a fat headshot onto Ottawa, but still because he just bought a helmet, didn't die from it. That's lucky for him. Bomb is gonna get planted. He's gonna get some extra money in the pocket. Oh, shadow. Okay, finding one. Before he goes down, it's 3-on-3, three three, catch up and scores, and they're even again. 7 kills to the name of Shadow, and you lose on 8. Okay, Carrying the team actually a bit. We started off with 3-0, oh, and now we're back to a 3-3. Three, three. You can see how fast momentum can cha change in another one's direction. Now that we are on raid with Merciless on the breach side, it's, uh, it's, it's looking almost like they, they, they just love to play around in the first 3 rounds. And then go for some heavy pushes, not stop. Now, now finally slowing down a little bit more. You know, playing that slower move towards that B site. Got that bomb being carried towards towards heaven. Now he's not dropping it. He's still holding it. Looks like he's waiting for his teammates to start and get closer as well, which is obviously something you want to see. You want to see a little bit more teamwork. Now we'll lose. He's going to flash and just jump down. No checking oh. on anything else. A little bit. I would say a little bit of a rusty move there. Um, looks like they're smoking it off. They got the bomb down. And now it's an inverse. It feels like for Mullet Mafia that they just planted. It, it just takes uh, it just take Yeah, now they just have to protect the bomb and it's Malik. <laughs> oh, what a backstab kill. I mean, a double backstab kill. What a way to end it. Yeah, lose jumping from heaven was not kind of a thing he... He was supposed to do because still two players from B-Long didn't entry on the site and he jumped already so went down in the process not getting a jump kill like uh, two times before so yeah 
it's a bit unfortunate because you usually see a little bit more of a thought process. I, I thought I thought he was taking his time, you know, being a little bit more patient with it. But it looks like that was not entirely the case. Uh, pretty pretty strong holding. You can see Bull they were prepared for a very strong A push here and pre-nade and a pre-smoke. But it looks like it's not that much of a heavy push towards the A side. It's a slower one. Yeah, and look at this. Only Malik on this. Dunnel's position, oh, Excello is just back on on CT spawn because he, he knows nobody's watching CT, so. Yeah. Taking his time, three flashes. I always love it, man. Whenever they start throwing flashes at A, it's just it's just a war zone at that point. I have no idea what's going on. Um, a little bit too afraid to enter now that the smoke is down. Ottawa comes in with a nade on Malik. Vape takes down Zelo, and you can see Shadow. All it takes is one shot through the smoke, and that guy is down. Oh, just the backstab kill. Finds one, Snoopy takes that loot through. Return and it's Aki. Not finding one at Snoopy, but the double kill ending it up again. Oh, getting so many free shots. So many free shots. Quick pause. Oh, that did not fully come in through. That that was that was way too way too late from Bullet Mafia. Uh, but I don't know if you saw it, but Snoopy, yeah, he, he had he had a free opportunity opportunity to just keep on shooting. He was closer towards A long than it was the A site, and no one was really paying attention to him. So he had a lot of free uh, free opportunities to take a lot of frags. Fortunately, Malik will be AFK on this one. They, wanted, they were trying to pause it in time, but it fortunately did not work. Disconnecting. Ooh. A nasty double coming in. Aki finding it with the backstab? How is he doing this? Is Already on the site now. Bomb is gonna get planted. 40 seconds left. Shadow with a nice tap. Snoopy with a double auto as well with a kill. There's one more lost life from Millet Mafia. Oh, and he just walks just in front of Snoopy. What an unfortunate timing. Cello goes down at the last player of their team, and it's 4 5 on the scoreboard. Looks like we finally get that round pause. That was something that Mullet Mafia really needed here. Something going on with Malik, and that was really causing some issues. And now it was an unpause. Okay, so not entirely, um, not entirely, you know, smooth, smooth sailing, but also not too bad, not too shabby. We're just being very patient here, and I, I hope I hope it can get resolved because we do want to, of course, uh, keep that competitive integrity. We do want to have both sides being ready to uh, to take the round on. And uh, looking pretty good so far. I mean, both sides are are kind of keeping it back to back. There, they're trying to elevate the score equally. We've seen similar things on the previous two maps. I I love it, man. I love it when something is not one sided. You know, when you start to see that momentum drastically change and it's just one round after round after round it starts to become a little bit more boring but these two they're really up there and i, I love Whoa. i love the i love the difference in, in in skill in some areas in some specific moments it's it's beautiful to watch that's absolutely true through what you just said mm -hmm. i mean they're also playing it's not completely like the momentum that keeps them going but they really play with the brains look at this they they, they waited a full minute and now only they Throw smokes and still waiting for it. For the complete push. <clears throat> and now everybody has to still rotate. Yeah, it seems like MFA is not ready for this. I sometimes when I watch people play on raid, it's just constant push and just flash, flash, flash. Three or maybe five flashes. Sometimes they even nade stack and they start throwing ten flashes at A site. A site on raid is, is it tends to be a war zone. Oh so Aki cool. with this beautiful flick. Oh. That was gorgeous. This time Aki was having enough. You know, I I told you about Snoopy having a lot of free uh, a lot of free a lot of the uh, free kills to to be grabbed. You know, he wasn't really on the A side, but towards A long, a little bit off angle. And while everyone tries to focus on the A side, they completely forget about Snoopy. Aki was not having it and remembered that, and was able to take down Snoopy. And that was really important. Though so that caused them to, of course, uh, help uh, help them out win the round by uh, or at least increase the chance of them winning the round by a, by a lot. And uh, that also brought them to a 5-5. Five to five. Oh, this early peek from Vape, but at what cost? He gets the pick, but it, the nade turns him back. Oh, the peek as well. The flash comes in. It's not doing anything. <laughs> no, it's not going to do damage, but it is going to catch them off guard temporarily. Is it worth it for the for the takedown, though, for the kill? That is something that you also have to keep in mind. Ottawa, pretty silent. He has the bomb. 25 HP as well. That's not a lot he has. I mean, he has a full kit, full util kit. He's gonna drop the bomb to be loose, so that's there another good thing. Go. Malik still watching that. 
collision hall. He's, he's all the way, or at least towards the, the hall bomb area. Has been planted. He's, he's not really moving, though. He's, he just figured out, oh, the bomb is planted. Probably have to start moving towards that B site. Yeah, and Shadow is going to wait a bit for him. I don't think, I don't, in my opinion, I would not retake this, but they're going for it. Yeah, and do they have any flashes? Any utility they can work with? I mean, a flash could definitely help here. Uh, especially with Eluz's position, that nade definitely breaking down his armor. Uh, we got two players here. All the way down the yeah, he's got a flash. Or was that a smoke? It's definitely not a nade, though. It could help them out, but he's not using it. Oh, there we go. We see a smoke coming down. Okay, that's not bad. Time is ticking, though. Oh, this is a tight one. Shadow able to shut down Masya, but look, 58. Oh, uh, will, will he survive? I don't think he will. No, he will. Uh, oh, yo, he will, actually. Because he's lower. Because he's not on the same elevation. Yeah, yeah it's right. It's, it's, it's odd. On the A that's side, you die. Uh, if, if the bomb on the A side, you go on the B side, you die. The bomb on the B side, you go on B vents, not even in the vents, and you survive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there must be a logic to it, but at the same time, it's, it's weird. I don't know how it works. I think it has something to do with the elevation and also with maybe the distance is still longer because of how much it's like diagonal. It's like not a, a straight line because if you're on the corner on the B side and then you're on the A side, it might be slightly closer. Also, he might have had some... Uh, does armor have an effect? No, I don't think armor has anything. No, I don't think... Ah, uh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Okay. Well, I don't I don't think... I don't think so, actually. I don't know. Well, we'll just have to see. I'm not that... I'm not that detailed about critical ops, or at least they haven't looked that much into it, because usually I just run away, especially when I'm below 50 or 70 HP. I tend to be a lot more careful. Um, but that's what these players know better than us. Even though one of them just got uh, taken down there on uh, on the B side, that was that was still very uh very sad to witness because it was a save. And there goes the whole point of the save. It's true, the smoke as well on heaven is a pain in the ass mm. for a uh, merciless. You can see yeah, they're just also... wandering around like boiler and checking on mid, trying to get some picks, but as well the time is ticking down. I mean, oh, look at this, they're actually control. yeah, they're actually on the site. They lose, finding a kill, Aki just waiting in here. Still maybe waiting. They didn't have someone go towards vents. If they had someone go towards the ventilation, they can maybe catch some players off guard, off rotation, because they use they tend to rely a lot on the ventilation. Don't get me wrong. Like I know you need to get inside of the finds right? one. Maybe that, oh, that is that is tough. Vape as well, getting another pick there. An X, a quick refrag for Ottawa. It's a one versus two, and this is the last round on the on the first half. So he's gonna make a he's gonna get the. It's got 15 seconds as well, Shadow. All you need to do is really survive, honestly. 12 seconds. No need to push this. There's no need to push this. Oh. Oh, oh. He's That's back. smart. Oh, Down to half that HP. Flash, that, that flash can work. He's going to jump. Wait. Whoa. Yeah. What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's still blind. He's still blind. <laughs> um, okay, okay was, Shadow. <laughs> he must have been fully flashed. That was, used. That was yeah. something else. Um... He uh, yeah, I mean, he also reloaded. Didn't you see him reload? What, what even happened? Yeah, Malik says like press the wrong much, button, so... Uh... <laughs> too much too much happened there, man. There was a lot. There was a lot. But it was entertaining, and they uh, nobody uh, nobody seems to be too bothered with it. You know what happened? That was a pretty harsh nade and a flash, and uh, he had to plant the bomb, so there was, uh, he was in a tough spot. Uh, but regardless of that, we are ending in a 6-6. Six six, again, making things very interesting and more entertaining for us at home here. Uh, so let's see how they will pursue this. Mullet Mafia pushing up four players on B-Long, one player towards Heaven. I'm assuming another bomb being dropped down in the quick bomb plant. You know, we've seen that once before. We usually see that more. It was quite a, quite a thing that they did oh, here, here on the B-side. Here's going to be the contact. Intense. Finding one, Malek with a kill. Do two frags, not too bad. Vape gets one. Oh, he does drop planted. down from Heaven because no one's planting. <laughs> oh, no, they're running all, <laughs> they're all running back. Look at that. Hilarious. Look at him like a snake. Like a snake. Look yeah, him. like a snake on the map. I see it as well. <laughs> Are they all gonna stack on heaven? I mean, uh, uh, sure, everyone wants to be safe, I guess. No one wants to die. But just gonna go on heaven. I guess someone's taking, uh, someone has some balls and moves down. Shadow gets taken down. Molly comes and taking on the lead. But not too bad. Masya, oh, and they're, they're gonna jump out. They're gonna jump out. Oh, Excel with the knife. <laughs> and now, now I'm actually curious. No. Now I'm curious yeah. what he will buy because he got the knife kill. He gets 5.9k. That's yeah. a lot. Okay, just an AK. Okay, okay. I'm well, gonna I mean, play smart. Some more money later on. It means it's, it's again like I would also probably still buy the AK. This is an eco round as well, and you can still keep the AK later on. That's um, true. And I don't think you can buy an SG and full util at the, at the same round at the, with the same money. So I mean, oh, util I mean, will help out in this round for sure. So. 
I mean, think about it. Good things still done to Malik. Look at that double. Luz and Ottawa both getting shut down. They're starting to move forward towards that A site. We've got Optics taking out Snoopy. Masya, not too bad. Mola Mafia still not letting Merciless get a single pick. Something we don't see too often. Bomb has been planted. Got that bomb planted. So odd. Aren't uh, did they change that as well? There's like it's like a it's like a, a, a exclamation mark. It's not a it's not a bomb uh, icon anymore, is it? Or was it explanation always a... mark. Yeah, when the bomb is planted, like that little warning. Did they change that? Oh, I've oh. no idea. I think no. I just think it's. I just think it's there was an innate um, landing on site. Oh. Oh okay. Oh, and they're Shadows. hunting for Vape and Shadow Garden. Yeah, Vape is not surviving this one. He's not going to be able to save his little gun. <laughs> not today. And look at that. Dropping uh, dropping some weapons for each other and then buying the SG. Okay. 6-8 on the board as well. MFA in the lead this time. But, uh, I mean, Merciless showed their potential last round. Maybe they can come back as well like MFA did as well on Bureau. So, let's see how this goes. We see for the first time Xello. And tunnels, slowly but surely. Like, this is what you want to see on the breach side. Catch the coalition off rotation. Beautiful. There it is, Xello with a exactly. nice skill. Oh my yeah. god. This is why you want to have someone on mid. This is something that I've not seen people use that much. And it's so odd. It's the grand finals. You would think people use this more. Well, the Mafia absolutely destroying Merciless here. Off guard with the rotations. Very heavily pushed in. A lot of map control towards mid. And using that to their advantage. Because if the coalition has to rotate all the way towards spawn and then a or b you would imagine the amount of time it takes you know that can be a quite detrimental that's why they really rely on events and that's their weak spot that's where you want to catch them it's something that they don't use that often look no one's no one's no one's going for that off rotation on mid i mean if i were if i would be playing on raid every single time we would have like a basic structure i would at least have someone on the breach side like there we go malik and they would they would make it they would play it safe they don't have to push mid directly they can just slowly peek here Get a little bit of an idea if there's someone there, and then go towards those towards that ventilation shaft, and that's how you want to play it. Oh, oh, okay. that's a bad timing. Time. Yeah, he did get caught this time. Um, not ideal for Malik. Also has to reload and has to get a player to come and help him out. But in an ideal situation, you would drop down to the vents and get a little bit of control there, catch a few off guard, and as they're going for the bomb plant on either A or B, you do want to get those players off rotation or at least have some pressure there. Make sure they check it. They take spend their time oh. checking it. Because that time is essential, especially you want to get that bomb planted. And you want to make sure that the, they spent as much time not defusing. So, definitely a kind of a long haul there. But Mullet Mafia, they won't be making much use of that. They're bringing it back to a two versus two situation here in the fourth round now. Usually Merciless, on average, seems to uh, at least get around on the fourth. Now they might be able to do it again, and they do. Vape taking down Zelo at the very end. Bring it back to seven to nine. So far, I have not seen either of them have a full four four to zero on any half. I don't know if you've noticed this yourself as well, or at least uh, at the beginning of the game, they never really tend to get like a full four rounds in a row on either half. At least, not that I remember. So far, they have always been able to at least get uh, at least the other team get another round after two or three rounds, not like a full four. Not too bad. Fast eight is one again. Flash comes in, but Shadow is just way before it, finding one. The refrag of Ottawa. I'm gonna have to go fast. It lose Shadow with another kill. Oh my, he's taking the refrag for, for his team over here. Gets the M4 wow. with the skill on it as well. The bomb is gonna get planted. Three on three. 40 seconds left because of the bomb plant. Flash comes in and this is it. They have everything under control. Two players from the back. So we see a first shot. Go oh, never mind. It's not a shot. Go my bad. My bad. Bad eyes. My fault. Uh, that, nah, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, I would not be surprised if they came in with shotguns. And even on A long, that can work. We have Malik, though. He's going to be able to maybe at least catch one and then go back. Oh, never mind. A little too aggressive. You got the bomb, man. You got the bomb on your side. There's no need no need to get yourself killed over that. He might actually lose the round. Oh, Mosia. Wow. What a flick. Wow. He was watching Tuns as well and got the instant yeah. flick up. Almost taken down, though. Okay, they got it anyway. One round yeah. down from... Uh, too greedy. They were too greedy. MFA. Man. Mm -hmm. Imagine if, if, so if they weren't too greedy there on A long and they played a little bit safer, they might have actually been able to get that extra far four or five seconds, and that would have already been enough to uh, to win the round. Not too bad. But like, there comes Marcellus, still prevailing on that breach side. Yeah, and Shadow here, a really nice entry as well. Even though with a deagle, played that really well. 
Oh, Malik with the wall bang on Snoopy. Now it's Vape, only one on B site. He's getting joined by his teammate. Up on CT, so they still have it. Oh, okay. trying to move around like, a, like a little snake again. There we go. Kind of. Oh, nah, it's kind of a destroyed snake. <laughs> <laughs> Not as smooth as we've uh, seen previously. Moving back to Boiler here. Zelo. The bomb picked up. They do lose a member, but they also are able to get a free frag. Or at least some kind, something in return to make it uh, a four versus four. Now, usually when there's there's one player getting taken down on either side, it tends to be beneficial for the breach side because as players go down, you know, for the for the coalition side, it, it is in half. You know, they got to protect both sides. Imagine if you have a two versus two, the breach tends to have an easier time. But if it's a five versus five, you have a lot more players. You can already have one guy with an assault rifle on, on any position, and he sh he could technically a. So, if you if you look at from a statistical point, this is a little bit better for the breach side as they pick off one by one. Not too bad here coming in uh, from Mullet Mafia trying to use that to their advantage. Now we see Merciless still wondering where are they going to be pushing this time. We see Aki trying to maybe catch a few off guard. As oh, the A side is there. It's so empty. The bomb is easily getting planted. Yeah, and also, again, in the corner. It doesn't have to be in the corner, though. They had so much control, they could have maybe done it a little bit open ended. There comes Aki off guard. Again, I was kind of anticipating that. He was coming from mid. He's going to check Coalition Hall. No one's Coalition Hall. Now you know. Are they vents? Are they not vents? And now you know it's all coming from A-Long. Just using that little bit of logic, and you know where they are all coming from, and then you can really put the cross there. And all right, position Zelo, Malik, really shutting them all down. He's getting from easy here, Merciless. It's, it's too predictable. All three of you coming from a long. It's going to be too easy for M Mafia. Uh, yeah, even though even out. though they had an, a player advantage by one, it was a 3v2 with the bomb plan in their, in their favor and their advantage, but still, they got it. That's crazy. That's that's well played. I mean, it's not it's not because of yeah. it's not because of what happened. It's just because of not sinking the push. Like one player getting off guard by Aki, which is a nice uh, lure kill, and then just yeah, not sinking up the push all, can. They all push along. They all push along, man. That's 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 not ideal, especially if you're trying to diversify the pressure amongst the site. If you're all gonna push from uh, from from the vents, for example, on B site, you can already imagine how easy it is to just throw through nades and the smoke. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. That is true. <laughs> I see Mali going up and down. Nothing too crazy. Playing it slow. Again, they're getting that pick for pick. It's ideal. It's perfect for Mullet Mafia. They can really play with this. It is It is exactly what they want. Okay, a lineup. A fake lineup is coming up from uh, Mackie. A flash as well. He's going to rotate to his oh. team towards A. It would have been better if he threw the flash in between the two towers. That's what they tend to do. Small, small little... If they, if they had like a 200 gazillion IQ, they would figure that out. But looks like they... Uh, if, if they don't, of course, it doesn't matter. It's oh, look at this. He got dropped a bomb and a nade. Now I'm curious. Oh, he used his nade, the smoke to... Uh... Oh, okay, wow. that's smart. Never seen that before. Yeah, I, I don't see that. No, actually, I've, I've never... That's not the thing I've seen it too. Not too bad. I mean, you can technically do it from heaven, but it's safer and more logical and more, uh, let's just say there's a higher chance you're going to get a good smoke there. Yeah, that's so, true. Um, and wow, it's also okay. it's also part of some good uh, team team co communication as well. So. Yeah, here. Like smoke uh, here. Like, uh, for example, I don't know who was down there. Like, for example, Shadow. I don't know. Shadow, smoke. Smoke vents. Smoke vents. Like, and then drop it down. Like, perfect. That was, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. That's Oh, Shadow. Barely <laughs> live. 100 HP to his name. He's going to lie. He's going to live. 17 HP. That's a close call. That's a real close call. He's fine, he's fine. <laughs> he picks up a circuit skin as well. He's chilling. He's got that. Uh, hey, look, his armor was, His armor is completely fine. He didn't take any hits on the armor. I was right. It was. Ah, it, yeah. it, it, it completely penetrates the armor. The armor doesn't, uh, like, it penetrates the armor and it doesn't, like, damage the armor, which is odd. You would think the armor would get damaged. Yeah, because if you, if you throw a nade, then the armor gets damaged uh, for sure. And how because yeah, of the bomb, yeah. that's... Okay, I mean, it's interesting. When you, about, when you think about how a bomb works, <laughs> and how it, like... Explodes and it's like, like you get the oh yeah. Aki getting a double there from the vents not too bad we got ourselves the bomb being carried towards the B side being thrown down Malik oh X he's got a knife I don't know we we completely missed that action there but who knows something okay. happened there Master getting a double and merciless again they're really getting taken down having a hard time here on the on the coalition side and they're getting caught up on these rotations the pushes are becoming stronger they're getting a little bit too confident but they're not getting punished for being confident. And uh, that's another round, most likely, on the board, unless 
he might watch it. Oh, and Aki heard it. He heard him redeploy his gun, so re take his gun. Oh, he heard him, but he's still not sure enough, or he missed it. I sometimes have it too, where I hear get an audio cue and maybe someone in the call. Okay, Mosianis maybe could be win. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah. A good positioning from Xello. Even though Mosia got a tri triple kill this this clutch, but it didn't work out. It did not. That's you're, match you're point. You're attention to how many kills they're getting each round. That's not bad for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah, you're you're paying attention to that like a lot more than uh, I mean. I, I sometimes also forget how well some of these players do individually in uh, in, in these rounds. Yeah, Mosia was like already in the past two uh, matches like really good in like keeping the clutches alive, but there's always a little small mistake that's happening due to. Um, Shadow. Bad info, bad anything else, and he loses the clutch. He's but now he got, got got a kill, I think it wasn't B-Long. Okay, and some uh, accusations coming in from Shadow. Shadow, uh, I think he's just a little salty. He's a little salty that Mossy is playing pretty well. Yep, I think he it was of, as he got, well. He got caught off guard. He got caught off guard. That's how it is. And they couldn't get a refrag on him, so uh, he's a little mad. He's a little mad. I would be mad too. Don't get me wrong. I have my... You get... You, you, Emotions start to uh, start to mess with you. It's part of the game. That's yeah, facts, and the smoke is still annoying, but I keep pushing through. Aki, amazing um, effort as well in this game. Like those yeah. impact kills he's doing, he's been doing is insane. Like even. Oh, that nade. A little bit. Oh, they continue to move. 20 HP. Oh, Miles is so gone right now, isn't he? Never mind. He... Okay. Oh, it lose with the double. It lose with triple. Oh my God, and it's over. Merciless oh, yeah, coming back. No. Okay, Elus coming in is very strong. That was a painful A push, man. That, that, the, the, the way he got hit by the nade, he got hit by the bullet. Or at least he dodged the nade, he got hit by the bullets more. And he just he couldn't do any damage back in return. That was... That, when you experience that, usually it tends to not go great. Because <laughs> you're already in a very, very big disadvantage. Like, you're already, you already created a huge disadvantage for yourself. So, a flash coming in. A vape having a little bit of a hard time spotting, but I'm sure he's completely focused on that little area. There he goes. He oh, I'm not himself. able to find anyone. Nope. He does get spotted himself. That is such a good one way, but it doesn't work out for him. I mean, the good thing about one ways is they can see you, but the bad thing is you have no aim assist, which is so hard to deal with. Even though if they're peeking with, with two at the same time. Sometimes your crosser is also not red, so sometimes you also your crosser doesn't turn red, and you're not sure if you're looking at a. At nothing. Or yeah, that's also true. That is also mm -hmm. true. Bomb is now yeah. rotating slowly to B side. One is on the on the B long. Okay, not gonna take take him down. Snoopy holding on to heaven. Shot coming in still. Sticking to his spot. There it is. Shadow. MFA is gonna take it away. Yup, GG well played, Mullet Mafia taking those last few players there on the B site and able to be victorious. Congratulations on your third map, or at least on your on your second map, but the third one is, is, is coming your way. And we're moving over str straight over to the fourth one now, which I think was sore, wasn't it? Uh, Yeah, it was sore, it was sore. So yeah, very that, bright map this time. I'm actually curious what will uh, be happening. I will switch over to... Or faces, so you guys can see us talking instead of the game, with nobody in. So, uh, yeah, Soar, very interesting map. I mean, there is a new update coming out. I told this earlier on the stream, there is a new update coming out where there are going to be uh, windows in the roof on mid, and it will help us throw better utility. But right now, it's a very hard map to take mid control to, to push on mid. So I'm very curious what will happen actually on mid, because it's just all aim, no brain, push on mid, hope you get the kill, and... You can't really use your util because it's a hard, hard way. You can bounce it off the walls and stuff. I mean, I saw some crazy lineups above the the complete house, actually, of, of Soar. But it's with, with the skybox. It bounces off the sky. It lands somewhere and everything of that. So it's going to be interesting. I'm curious what will actually happen. But uh, I never saw, actually, Mill Mafia or, or Merciless play on this map. And I don't think it was a pick for... Or may, it was a pick. I don't know whose pick it was. Let me actually... This pick was for Merciless. I think it was Mill Mafia's pick. Merciless picked this map. Merciless also started off with the first pick on the first <laughs> Again, I'm also confused with the both M's, man. It, it, you're not the only one getting confused. Uh, it would have been nicer if it was just Bullet Mafia or Merciless instead of M&M. &M, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's real hard. So, the pick was by Bullet Mafia. So, I guess they just practiced on the map as well. 
like really good because Sora is not really a competitive map you would pick to play in a grand final. Um, but I mean, you can do way better if, if, if Legacy and Grounding get banned, then it's hard to pick those maps, you know, it's, it's banned, so it's over. But Sora is one of those maps, it's going to be really interesting. So, I mean, looking forward to that. Um, there is a small break coming up once again, but um, we can maybe announce a giveaway winner already. So everybody starts spamming your IGNs and IDs in the chat, and we will pick a giveaway winner before we go on a break this time. So we're gonna wait a minute until you guys spam. We're gonna pick three winners once again. And we're gonna wait a bit until you guys yeah. drop your, because I know Seagop's hands are really fast in the game, but really slow yeah. typers. So uh, we're gonna wait a bit. Slow typers, slow typers. It's a copy paste in the in Seagop's. You just open the game, you copy paste it, and it, it, tends, it tends to work, so. Um, for the UID at least. I can, I can imagine the IGNs could they maybe take some time. Oh, I know, I know my I, IGN and ID out of my out of my head. I know them by heart. Oh, you know your ID out of your head. I do know my name. It's just Arde. Um, very easy, very straightforward. Same uh, for me. It's also Bobby, so easy, very easy peasy. Yeah, I used to be Arde Pierre. I think someone claimed my name, man. Someone got real sneaky, real yeah, fast. Yeah, 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 if you search up Arde Pierre, someone claimed my name. I mean, uh, you can wait two no... years until it gets uh, it gets free. I mean, I I, I, I did that yeah. and I got free. I so. waited. I waited for Arde. I also waited for Arde. We both got uh we both got like a four letter name. I think four letter is fine. Like yeah. actually I was thinking of maybe going for Ard. I, I I know someone that has Ard, but I don't know if I want to go for Ard. It sounds a little weird. I feel like the E is necessary to really differentiate and to, really make, to make, it good, and to make it sound good. To make it sound good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously I I'm I'm completely happy with Arde, man. It's a banger name. Uh, if I could any social media, if someone someone uh, could uh, give me Arde on X, I would love to have it. Thank you very much. Give it to me. Um, some weird Indian, I think it's some random Indian or something that has my name. Arde. <laughs> <laughs> Give it so you me. you uh, actually don't know your, uh, your your ID. My UID? No, not out of my head, bro. I don't. Know. Hey, you, I think you it's. You tell me right now. You tell I think me right it's now, your UID. six <laughs> one five five six three zero, and I'm gonna correct six one five five six three zero. It's right. Wow. I mean, yours is pretty. Okay, I think mine's. I know mine starts with two two zero. I think. Uh, I mean, my, mine is pretty short because I have a real old account from like back in 2017, 16. So it's a real short number. For me, it's, for me, it's also, I also made my account in 2016 or 17. So uh, I'm also kind of like, but I don't know. Mine might, I guess I was just a little later than you or maybe the game just like had that little boost of a lot of players coming in and I was just a little too late. Oh, Stump is here as well. Gotta show respect to the big man. Let's take a let's take a quick look over here. Um, gotta move my headset like that. <laughs> Nobody is actually typing their IGNs and IDs. Okay, that's interesting. We're still waiting, no wants, waiting for them. No one wants. No one wants free cases. No one wants free cases. Nobody yet. Nobody yet. No. I mean, I can just type want, Bobby six one five five six three zero, and I'm yeah. getting cases. So. Uh... <laughs> I mean, you know yours out of your head. I still need to update the game. I was actually wondering. I just wanted to see in the, how the game was going. I need to update the whole game, actually. <laughs> kind of surprised. I haven't uh, really touched in a bit. Um, also, my chat. Oh, there we go. It's loading. Okay, we got the first one. J-U-H-T. Hey, I remember that name. You, sir, already won some case. You already won an event case. Don't don't try to fool me. Don't try and fool me this time, sir. That is true. This time. That is true. We, <laughs> we won't take you. Otherwise, it's unfair for all the rest. Maybe a stump can give his ID okay. and IGN. We can take a... We can give or a little surprise to stem for um This is like the, this is like such a, such an easy way to win a case and no one's doing it. <laughs> oh we got okay. That's oh, that's go. gonna be my first pick. It's gonna be Rice. He's really? got a uh, YouTube right. channel as well. He's um right. a very good player. I think he's master around spec ops, doing an amazing job in the game. So everybody click on Rice's name and make sure you go check out his channel and small promo can never be bad. <laughs> All right. I'll give it some time. I'll give it some time. I have some hope that uh, there'll be some more people coming in. Well, we got the first one out of the way from Bobby, so uh, so let's see. Let's see. Maybe uh, we'll we'll give it like one more minute, and then I'll just then I'll just start picking people I haven't picked picked yet, because it seems like that's like the easiest way to do it. Maybe people don't uh, don't 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 want the event cases, man. They just don't want them. They don't want them. In the meantime, I'm gonna. Should I, should I go type my own name and see if you can pick me? <laughs> I mean, it's your pick. It's your pick. I mean, I'm maybe the last pick. I can pick the last one, but uh, 
I'll go and type Arde and uh, be like, UID, figure it out. Just search up my name. <laughs> <laughs> you can search up my name. You can search up my name in Critical Ops and you'll, you'll see my UID. You can just press copy. You'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, you could. You could just do that. It is true. It is true. Well, it I mean, looks like uh, I, I can see someone. He typed, I need some cases. So I'll go with this one. I'll go and pick him off, and then you can go and get the last one. Shax. Shax with an X in between. Very, very interesting. I'll go and uh, send that over to the to the group chat. There we go. Congratulations, Shax. Or Shox. Shix. I need cases. Well, you got yourself a case. So uh, We see a band coming from Wither. He, uh, he can't send cases. He can't send numbers. Oh, well... I don't know. Well, well, oh, there we go. We got we got a few more. Hey, they're waking up. Oh, there we go. There we go. They're waking up. All right, Bobby. Now it's time to do a little bit of a um, close eyes and start pressing. All right. So Anna won uh, already earlier. I think we're gonna take. Okay, Ajif is a player for um five YG. We're gonna take Ajif. There we go. Gonna screenshot it. Ajif, enjoy your um event case. That was the last one for the giveaway. And I think we'll uh, go straight to the break. Or, or do yep. we, we don't even have it now. We've got to go into the break. We don't have infos yet, no. so we go in the break. Guys, see you in a second for the... And enjoy your cases. Congratulations to the winners, of course. And yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. Last map will be... Um, all right, the next map will be sore. So it depends on if Mullet Mafia wins it. It's a match point for them. But if uh, Merciless wins it, then it's going to be match point for both teams. So very interesting match. And uh, hang tight. So uh, we're going to be right back. Alright, see you in a bit.
Hello everyone and welcome back. As you can see, Bobby currently only has a beautiful picture of himself. Very handsome looking man, but unfortunately he's unable to speak at the moment due to uh, some silence that is necessary right now. Some of his parents, his family uh, in specific, is trying to sleep. Uh, so, you know, he can sit here and talk like that to you, but I'll be taking over that enthusiasm for now. So I hope you guys are okay with that. We'll be taking it over, over. We'll be going over a few things just to get everyone up to date. So let's just head over to the price pool to start things off and uh, talk a little bit. About that. Some of you might have been missing that or uh, haven't really seen much about that. So just to start things off, we got the 58th place getting 800, 600 credits and five event cases. Fourth place getting 1,000 credits and eight event cases. Pretty decent prizes. It's nice to see that at least you have the opportunity to just still get something in return. Uh, even if you're not placed that high, we've got that third place getting $100 uh, dollars, US dollars spread across the team, 1,200 credits and 12 event cases. Then the runner-ups, the second place getting $300, um, eight event cases. I actually, actually, I can read that. Or eight, no, 1,800 credits, I think, and 18 event cases. And then the champions getting a whopping 800 US dollars and then 2,000 credits and 20 event cases. Now, after this, of course, you know, we got to go and... Uh, strive for these prizes, but on what kind of maps will they be battling this out? Now, heading over to the map video real quick, let's go over and see what those teams will be performing on. So far, we have seen Canals and Bureau being played on, getting pretty, pretty close. Where Mullet Mafia won 13 to 10 on Canals, which was picked by Merciless. Also, another pick from Mullet Mafia on Bureau. Uh, Merciless won 13 to 12 on that. And when Merciless picking Raid, Mullet Mafia winning 13 to 9. Of course, the servers were on. Uh, on one side, so we also swapped between European servers and uh, North American servers. Some were Turkish, just to, uh, you know, uh, make sure that the server still functions, as some of them are currently being attacked at some moments, uh, trying to keep the competitive integrity intact. Now, currently, we will be playing on Soar, which is a pick from Mullet Mafia. If, for some reason, Mullet Mafia doesn't win this and Merciless wins this, then we will take this to the Decider, which will be Plaza, so that could be a full bow five. Could be quite exciting to see that going on now let's without further ado we're going to go straight into soar um which will be played between merciless and mullet straight into that mafia, of course again they're two and one against merciless they've already won again on two maps maps winning on kennel to raid only losing 13 to 12 which was again very close it was i think it ended in a 1v2 which was nearly vent shaft um which was very fortunate but it was very very close now we're moving over with the pistol round here on b long near the uh, toilets i think that's the toilet and a lot of people knifing around we got mullet mafia barely not able to win that nova king getting taken down by masia and bringing that to a reset straight on uh, at least just sticking to the same sides uh, so let's see how that will go. Um, just double checking a few things. There we go. This is better. Mm -hmm. All right. So just making sure that the audio is all good. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get straight into the matchup. And off we go. We got ourselves the pistol round with Mullet Mafia making that move. And we've got three players. Take it, or actually two players moving here towards pool. We've got one towards mid and the bomb being carried towards what seems to be the A side. Not the B side, but the A side this time. Quite some shots coming in towards that midsection. Zelo and Novocaine moving towards that pool area. Maybe trying to get some wall bangs with those pistols through the windows. No, they're not. Doing a quick check. You can see Zelo. He has it in his system. He's got to check it. He's got to make sure there's no one lingering around moving in that area. Um... Which is pretty pretty good. It's pretty nice to have. So sticking to that, let's see how they will perform. Masya able to shut down Nova Kane. We see, uh, oh, nice performance here from uh, Dreyad. I think that was Vape uh, taking down. And here comes Exit quickly coming in with the refrag there. Trying to go for some shots. We see. Musia taking on XC. Not too bad, but Shadow and Zillow are trying to do the damage back in return. Shadow. Doing a decent amount, and Zello comes in, shutting down Ottawa. It's a uh, two two players still remaining there for Mold Mafia. Not too bad there on the uh, on the breach side. So yeah, no, obviously so far not not looking uh, not looking too shabby. You're looking pretty good here for Mold Mafia. I'm pretty uh pretty impressed with their performance so far. I don't know what you guys think so far, uh, but I I don't I, I'm I'm surprised. You know, winning out most pistol rounds in a row. Um. And able to really uh, consistently 
consistency uh consistently keep up with that so let's go back over to the eco now as we do see uh vape here with the deagle not looking too shabby kind of trying to be patient with that we see a lot of people pushing up the toilet area Axia Malik pushing up towards this little um this admin area i'm not that familiar with the call outs here on Swarm. i'm sorry everyone trying my best vape getting a double there with the d down shots coming from the toilet area we see vape moving forward shadow as he got taken down zelo with the ak-47 real planning aggressive here mold mafia wants to make sure they get these frags lined up malik getting taken down a lose not too bad but we do see some players falling behind malik trying to capitalize on that vape gets shut down the last player standing here for merciless is he able to get this taken down no he's not he will be taken down breach wins and there goes the second round for well, mullet mafia coming in moving over to the third map or the third well, map third round <laughs> now i'm confusing maps and rounds i thought i was uh i thought it was just bobby having issues with that but i guess i'm having issues too <laughs> flash comes in looks like that pool area is kind of flashed for now and we see a uh flashbang being brought towards that area malik he wants to pursue we can hear that little uh, little bit of wet noise coming in uh, looks like shadow will be uh, pursuing further masia Moving backwards. Quite a lot of shots coming in. Malik trying to get some wall bangs towards that B site. Not fully succeeding, but not too bad either. Not too bad either. And so far, a bit of a slow, slow, slow playthrough. We're not seeing that much action happening on both sides. No one getting taken down. Nothing too crazy specifically happening with any of these players. Just being very patient. And trying to play it for the longer run. About 45 seconds. We do see some plays from the breach side here. Mullet Mafia taking their time Malik taking that push not getting taken down yet it's so f oh there we go finally we see a takedown here Novocaine I was waiting for someone to take the first fight and we see Ottawa coming and shutting down Novocaine XC taking out Masia bringing it back to a four versus four looking pretty good they got that full eight side cover with where's the bomb where is the guy with the bomb is what you wonder my line shutting down Malik Bringing it back to a four versus three. As Vape is still lingering on the B side. No one's really trying to move towards A. I mean, they, I guess they're not planting the bomb either. So whatever. Shadow actually one player is going down to Ottawa. Vape. And here comes Shadow. The final play, last player standing. Able to shut down Vape. And cross it down. Three to zero. Mullet Mafia doing exceptionally well so far on the breach side here on Soar. Not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Looking pretty decent from their side. Now it looks like we might be seeing some uh, some uh, some of a push going on here from Mullet Mafia towards towards the B side yet again. A little bit of an entry there towards the administrator room. So far, they're taking a lot slower. I like this slower play start here from Mullet Mafia. We tend to see a lot of aggression usually. But it seems like the slower side is nice as well. Sometimes take take your time a bit. Moving up on top of the parasols. Trying to see if he can catch someone above that smoke. And we can see that aggression towards the B side. No bomb though. No bomb being carried thus far. Just trying to really gain some map control there. Which is hard. Pretty hard. A lot of pressure. You don't know if there's anyone near the tables. Um, that's usually when people with shotguns try to, try to linger around. And mess with you. Which tends to be one of the most annoying annoying things to deal with. You see that flash coming down in these areas. Looking uh looking pretty decent. Some shots coming in with the SG. Really trying to maintain their levels. Still all of them alive. Time is running out, man. I'm really trying to fill in these gaps, but it's like so slow. Little Muff is playing so slow. You don't see it that often. 15 seconds remaining. And now they're getting the bomb towards the B side. They took their sweet, sweet time. 
<laughs> oh, CeeLo comes up on the side. Eight seconds. They gotta plant the bomb. My life. Finally rotating, trying to catch someone off guard here. But it looks like no one is here to be pre fired by him. Some uh, some scoping in my line. He needs to get that bomb defused. He's got some time, but there's two players he needs to work with. That flash slightly annoying the enemy here for him. Zelo still pushes and shuts down my line. Not too shabby there from Zelo. Very good performance. 4-2. Oh, and this is something you don't see too often. Mola Mafia striking four rounds. Four rounds in a row. Exceptional performance coming in here. And we're looking for a little bit more action now. As, uh... My line... Go for some shots through the smoke. Still not fully, uh, fully... Fully taking control over the area, but... Being a little bit more patient with it. Almost, yeah. Nice to go for shots, but is not. But again, they're playing it so slow, there's not much happening on the map. And they want to make sure they get to that A site. They've been very successful numerous times. Not with planting, but with really the A site. But will they be successful again? Merciless. And three versus two. He's in. And we see Vape able to shut down Zelo. There comes to lose. Finally, Merciless able to capture another round on the board. Moving over to the sixth round. We're starting to see some uh, some members starting to buy. And then we see smoke coming down. My line still sticking to that deagle. Does not want to give up that deagle there. Ottawa. Comes in with a triple, not too bad. Masya as well, also taking out Shadow. Great performance here from Merciless. Absolutely stunning there in my line, finishing off the last player. Zelo gets shut down. And you just love to see it. Great, great performance coming here from Merciless. Finally showing a little bit more dominance here. We've seen Mullet Mafia really playing it slow and playing it sneaky. And keep, they keep getting away with it. Just keep getting away with it. And finally, they're being put into their place. Start to see my line. Oh, quick headshot in the first 20 seconds of the, of the match here. Not too bad. And Nova Kane coming in, shutting down my line. Bring it to a four versus four. Shots coming in, but... Nothing too shabby, nothing too crazy. We can start to see some action here. The movement. Smoke still up. And a three versus four, where the bomb is still, uh, still, it's still on their side. They didn't lose it anywhere. They can still take an approach to either side. It looks like Mullet Mafia wants to take the route towards pool and look for any entries towards the A side. They got two players to deal with at least, excluding any rotations. Other than that, Xe and Shadow. Look at that 15 HP. This guy, he's got some balls of steel to move forward and be the first one. He. I think I think he's either right. I think he's alright with dying. He's just he's just moving in. He's like, alright, you know. Oh, and he actually somehow gets away with it. Masja gets scared from him. We got Vape as well getting taken down. Mullet Mafia taking their sweet, sweet time. 
Look at that. Breaking the armor already. Novocaine is ready to strike. But Molly comes in and shuts down the lose. Makes quick work of that. We can see seven. We can see seven frags. A lot of players having seven frags. Not anyone really striking to be the number one or like having the most amount of impact so far. Pretty evenly distributed. Very, very evenly distributed. Ooh, Shadow coming in with that takedown there on. Uh, I keep forgetting Dryad. I think that's um, fake. Sometimes keep forgetting that. Some shots coming in from Shadow. Again, they love pushing the A side, but reloading so fast in the open. I wouldn't do that. That's a big mistake. You gotta get punished for that. You will indeed get punished for that. Lose. Coming in with one and two. Zelo. Shots coming in from the lose as well. There you go. And Nova Kane. She's getting shut down. Merciless finally able to do a little bit against Bullet Mafia there. You love to see it. A little bit of a pullback. Not a straight way up. Not letting that happen. Showing some strength, some dominance. Definitely not letting that slide. We can see a pretty decent setup again. We've got one player all the way towards that, uh, the two players towards that pool section. Two players towards mid, controlling all the B site. One player towards the toilets. Now Shadow. And, uh, looking quite interesting here for him. A couple shots coming in from Malik. Quickly switching back and forth. We got two, one player down on either side. And looks like... Keep forgetting his name, Dryad. My line getting the double there. Nova Kane and Xe both getting shut down. And Merciless... Able to somewhat stop this push from happening. That bomb is down in the open, though. Look at that. No one's really doing much about that. And look at how tight they're still holding us. Even though the bomb was down, they did not want to hold it back. They want to make sure they get as many rounds as possible here on the breach side. On the, on the coalition side. Look at that push. My line, even though he caught him first, he still gets taken down. Zelo quickly getting reflagged. Malik, 25 seconds. Spending the last remaining time. Can he get towards that B side is the question, though. Still maintaining that position. To make a move. And we can see that move here. And here comes Malik. Gets the first pick. Five seconds. Oh, I lose. That's quite a risky, a little bit of a ballsy move, I would say. But Malik. Not happening. Confused as well. Four to five. And Merciless. You can see a TRG. You don't really see that too often. Looks like it could have been a little bit of lag. Looks like both had issues with that. Didn't really notice it on my end. <laughs> um, but This could be something that uh, they experienced themselves. Hopefully it won't return again. Merciless. And holding on tight. Really making sure they get these rounds in the pocket. Your nade coming in. Oh, getting greedy there. Wanting shadow. Really wanting shadow, but not not being good enough. Just not being good enough. Shadow is gonna be first with that re ratio. Getting being pretty sharp. Being the first one to hold the angle, also being the first one to be able to take you down. See a flash coming through. Lose. Shadow down to 15. Going for a quick check up here with the uh, Euratio. It's already taken five shots. You don't tend to see the Euratio being reloaded that much. Maybe they need to... I mean, there's not really a reason to nerf the ammo, but the ammo has never changed. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. 
Always so many bullets you can shoot with that gun. Oh my god, I'm merciless. I was taken off guard by that. A double, a 2k from Dryad and my line. Vape and my line. There we go. I, rem I just uh, reminded myself again. Again, Mullet Mafia, as always. Pretty late with these pauses. They're going to have to endure at least one round here without the pause. They're always so close. They're always so close to just letting us know in time. But unfortunately, it's not happening. You can see a couple shots coming in from Exe. Masia. Able to shut down Shadow. My line as well. Another takedown there on Malik. Lose. Throwing in the flash. Completely washed away. And Exe getting taken down there. Comes in the need on Elouse. And Novocaine. Last player standing here with the AK-47. Bomb down on the ground. Pretty hard. Pretty difficult situation here for Mold Mafia. Nova Kane. Will he get that 1v4? We see that flash coming down. He's been flashed for a while now. No one's pushing it, though. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes in critical ops, people like to throw a flash just to feel safe. But they don't do anything with that utility that they just used. It's so odd. Now, 30 seconds. He's getting a little confident. Two players down. I wouldn't walk with the knife here, though. My line, he's can, he can hear him. Oh, he's showing it back to him, but still gets taken down. My line flicks it off, takes down Novocaine, 6-5, to five, and we do, in fact, get that ROM pause. Taking a look at the scoreboard. Pretty quick here. And so far, so good. I mean, again, seems like most players are evenly distributed. You have, you have a few ones that are performing pretty well in some scenarios. Nova King tried his best there, especially as well. You know, uh, being fully alone. Not too bad. The final round of the first half coming in on Soar. Let's see it. Mullet Mafia. So far performing pretty well there on the breach side. Will they be able to close this one off evenly, or will this be a uh, will this be a bit of a difficult spot for them? Oh, Molly coming in with Aluz and Ottawa all getting taken down. Look at that from Mullet Mafia. Looks like they really want to stabilize the score, making it just again. They're so good at making things intense, ladies and gentlemen. It's always lovely to see. Pushing up forward, Malik taking on. Um, man, it's, well, for one moment I know his name, for one moment I don't. Vape. The bomb has been planted. The bomb is planted now. One versus three. Push forward, my line. Taking on Exe. Couple shots coming in. Zello taking on my line. And that's it. Six to six. Swapping sides. Looks like there we go. Mullet Mafia on the coalition side with Merciless on the breach side. What a half, ladies and gentlemen. We got it back to a six to six yet again. And now we're actually going to see how this is going to play out on the second half. Wow. What a hell. I just find it so amazing, man. I absolutely love this. No one-sided play. It's all it's it's a back and forth play. That's how you how you love to see it. Grand finals getting pretty close. Now on the fourth map of this best of five. On Soar, Mullet Mafia, they want to close it off. They want to end it merciless. They want to let it go. Let it keep going. Malik taking on early. Ooh, Shadow with one with two. Two quick headshots. Zello getting confident. Shadow coming with a knife with a double knife. Shadow. Oh my god, Shadow. That is absolutely crazy. Oh my god, Shadow comes in with a double kill and the double knife. I don't know how he pulled that off, but I feel like communication on the other end has been wild.
Vapes getting a little bit, a little bit toxic here, a little bit. So just a little bit, like a 0.01% toxicity, like a little bit of a. Like, all right. <laughs> Pushing forward, Shadow. Guess the takedown there in Ottawa. Pretty good start here for Bullet Mafia, man. They got that full pistol. Uh, we got a ton of money here coming in for Shadow. Zelo getting the double there. Oh, Vape trying to think that. Balance things out, but Shadow and Malik getting two more frags. You can see Malik getting back into the game here. Oh, what a freaking game. Mullet Mafia, man. They do not want them to get... They do not want them to get back up from that. They do not want that to happen. Eight to six. I was kind of waiting for it to say oh, Malik throwing in a, a smoke or a flash, but looks like that setup is gone. Lose, taking out Novocaine, and now... Okay, was, well, now that you know that they're pushing, now what's the point? <laughs> if you had a smoke there, it would have been nice. A lose, taking out Malik. A little bit of an odd... A little bit of an odd gameplay we just uh, witnessed there from Malik, but, you know, some people, they make mistakes sometimes, and that, that, was, that was one of them. You just, uh, you just saw one, folks. We always expect that top-level performance, but once they make that small error, they're suddenly seen as, uh, oh, how can this happen in the grand finals? You get those comments. Completely forget that they're human, too. Shadow coming in with a double there. My line and the lose getting two frags. Mullet Mafia. Wow. Shadow again. Ottawa. They do not. They do not give up. The single time Shadow, especially, man, on this map. He's been an absolute monster so far these past two rounds. He wants to go for vape, but he's playing it safe. We see a flash coming in. It might be flashed. I'm not even sure. Quick headshot through the wall there. Too much pressure. Masia shuts down Shadow. And we do see comeback there on the third round. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. I know you can't speak, but I appreciate you. I usually also have always have the control capacity up 100. It's um, it's because I've been cast. I cast more than I play. <laughs> That's kind of how I view it. And also, I like to see my ammo. I wish you could individualize the uh, opacity. They still need to add that to this damn game, man. I, I kept telling them a couple times, but they still didn't do it. Four versus five. Got Merciless pushing up here on the breach side. Another smoke coming in. Nade following up. Getting a nice solid pre-nade Masia. Moving through. Not a lot of pre-fire. You tend to see a lot of pre-fire when they start to rotate from that B site. Oh, and Shadow from behind. Oh, and Shadow from behind. How do they keep they keep letting it happen? They keep letting it happen. No, everyone just assumes that the smoke is a wall. Shadow is here to prove you wrong, wrong, ladies and gentlemen. 24 frags. Just because of that, those big mistakes that they're making, automatically assuming that there's nothing, uh, nothing to do there. You're wrong. You're 100 percent wrong. <clears throat> you guys like carrots? Carrots? Uh, I ate a lot. I I think I ate too many carrots. Axie. Pulling it tight here with the crosshair on that smoke this time. You might see a shadow. You never know. <laughs> His name is really... Uh... Oh, there he goes. He does, in fact, get taken down. to lose with the eagle. This might be a little bit tight on uh, on money, but Mullah Mafia still knows how to, knows how to, uh, knows how to run it down uh, on this round. For some reason, losing two, two members early on just to some deagles. And just like that, you can stack up some assault rifles. Malik is not having it, though. He wants to get that punishment going. Gets two frags in return, but still, this is not very nice. So far, an eco round, getting two picks, and the possibility of uh, still winning the round. Oof. That's rough. That's very rough. You even see Mosia with an M4 walking around. That's not, uh, that's not what you would expect. Mosia getting the take down there. Novocaine, both on 100 HP, but Malik's got the AUG, and he's got that Kevlar. He's got the upper hand, but will he be able to be victorious? Yes, he won't. 
Yes, he won't. Even the M4 is not good enough. Masha, they're winning out the eco round, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. The goddamn eco round. Nine to eight. This is, uh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one to swallow. 24 frags here from Shadow. Jesus. Shadow is, uh, I mean, he didn't get any frags this round. Oof. What an absolute, uh, what an absolute fight he's putting up for Mullet Mafia. It might even still get close. We might even still see a full best of five, ladies and gentlemen. It is a wild day today. <laughs> it's a wild day today. Blues. Watering around. Some shots through the smoke. Another nade in that direction. You can see he's going back to back. We're about one minute remaining, but still, even though we got one minute remaining, we've got everyone still alive and remaining. And there we go, Malik finally coming in with the first pick. On the lose. Masha taking out Nova Kane is back to a four versus four. Oh, vape and Masha Malik. Shadow as well as getting shut down. Mullah Mafia is taking a beat down. Zelo barely able to hold it together there. But Mylan comes and shuts down Zelo. It's a 9-9. Nine to nine. You can see Merciless coming in with that solid comeback. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. 9-9. Nine nine. It's getting quite close. Not a lot of action from Shadow. And suddenly, they're all falling apart. Getting a little too, good, too, too used to Shadow here, maybe. Who knows? It's kind of weird. Volgren only played one game. This guy, one of the one of the big boys uh, for uh, for Mullet Mafia, and he's not even playing. Must have had something going on. Usually, uh, I know I know this guy. I know this guy. Usually, 11, 11 p.m. CET is not that late for him. So it's interesting to see that he uh, he had to go so early. It is Sunday though. Tomorrow's school, so maybe he's responsible. Who knows? First, I thought it was the map, but now I have a feeling that it's not. And we do see quite the position from Alouz all the way on top. Feels like he's the Eiffel Tower there. My god, he's up high. Still not spotted. Bunch of deagles walking around. I'm here from Bullet Mafia. Oh, there we go. Alouz dropping down. Not too high anymore. Again, time is ticking. They're really playing... Uh, Trying to lure them out, even though they have fucking deagles, man. They, they have deagles. What are they going to do? Shadow's going to get the first pick. Hold on a second. My line. No idea how, uh, how my line got caught in that gunfire. Now, finally, Ottawa sending it straight here, taking down Shadow. Making sure uh, I'm not seeing deagles take over for some reason in the meta. That would be kind of crazy. Over assault rifles. Xy though, and Malik. What's going on? The M4s and the Yogs. So I guess they bought them. I didn't expect them to buy that. I thought that was just deagles, but maybe it was just a facade. Maybe it was just a big prank. Or just to have a few people walk around with deagles, giving them a little bit too much comfort. It worked. It worked, I guess. Malik taking out a lose. They all went quite aggressive there for the B site. I think it would be an easy one, but it was not an easy one. No, it wasn't. We're getting closer and closer to the end of the second half, to the end of, of the fourth map. Just a few more rounds to give. Supply is being limited. There's only so many that they can take. Shots coming in from Shadow, trying to get a wall bang there. Who's not even frightened. Ottawa coming from the side, taking on XE. Not a great start here for Mullet Mafia as Merciless is taking over some ground. Quite the shots coming in here. Masia taking on Malik. And we see Nova Kane in the corner here on the A site. Quite the push coming in from Merciless. The flash comes through. Pushing back. Oh, I hope they don't get caught, like, uh, with Shadow again. That would be quite disastrous to have, uh, 
A repetition of that in my line taking a shadow. Now, of course, there might be some players pushing to the other side. And look at that. From behind. You see Pip getting shot at lose, finding Zelo, and it it's almost a bomb plant. Or was it a bomb plant barely? I'm not even sure at this point, but it is a round one. 10 to 10. Again, the scoreboard speaks for itself. It is going back and forth. Nothing seems to be one-sided today. At all. Masya and Eluz. Both moving forward. Going in the flash. Walking over the pool. Got a nade pushing forward. Malik taking on Eluz. Masya taking on Malik. Look at that. Beautiful refrag. Nova Kane able to restore something. Nova Kane. Does not want to fully continue or pers uh, pursue that, but. Taking his time, Shadow. Must be quite patient with this. Nova Kane, my line, gets taken down. Oh, and here comes, oh, here comes Vape. And then the nade from Ottawa as well. Right after Vape. Not bad, Shadow. Able to take quite the hit there. Ottawa taking on Zelo. It's a one versus one now. Oh, it feels more like a gunfight than actually holding down a uh, lucky down a sight. Quite a the uh, quite the aggression here from both sides, not just both mafia, also merciless. Ottawa still has the bomb though. He was in the corner. He was p patient. Thirty six HP. He's not doesn't does not have the advantage. He only has some uh, a helmet. But we do only see Kevlar on the other side. This could mean that a headshot could still prove this prove or still uh, still give uh, the upper hand towards Exe. Now, Exy's just going to play it safe. He's going to sit on the B site. If it's A, he will hear it. If it Bomb isn't, it planted. isn't. And there you go. He knows it's planted on the A site. He knows exactly where he might be coming from near that site. Ottawa, he's still near it. You can hear him coming. He knows exactly where Ottawa is. And there he goes, gets the headshot. And that's kind of how it goes. Even with the SG, it goes straight through. Doesn't really matter. 10 to 11. Oh, my God. Mullet Mafia had to win that one. Look at that. Merciless. Quite the advantage they're gaining here on the breach side. Now, this could be quite challenging. Oh, we might actually see a full best of five. That could be crazy, ladies and gentlemen. That would be quite the wild one, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be? Ottawa. Still holding on. To the Yogg. Absolutely insane. Now we see Axie coming in with the first pick. Not too bad, but look at that. My line able to shut down Malik. Going back to three versus three. The bomb is still on their side. A lose is able to shut down Shadow. Shadow again. He had his little moment, but that little moment it seems to be fading away like a little Disney dream. X is the last player standing to lose. Takes him down 10 to 12. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. We're going to see a best of five. Based on round balance, we're going to see a server chosen. This is ridiculous. Is this really going to happen? Is this really what it's all is going to come down to? The fifth map. I don't think I believe it. In critical ops, we're actually seeing a full BO5 play out. Usually we see best of threes turning into a two O's and calling it a day, but... Well, look at them. They're, they're proving they're proving me wrong that in C-Ops you can still have very close games. I'm surprised. And Merciless. This is, this is a very a big chance. Very uh, high likelihood of them taking the victory here. On the breach side. All they need is that one little round. They just need to lock it down. Mullet Mafia, they want to end it here. And Merciless is not going down without a fight. They got the first pick here from uh, from Bullet Mafia. You, know, you, may, you may think it's close here for Merciless. All they need is one round. But you, could say that you could argue the same thing for Bullet Mafia. All they need is three rounds. It's also not that far away. Oh, but when you make mistakes like these, you get a little too greedy. You might actually just be giving them the round right now. Look at that. My line. 
They're pushing in. They're going towards that B site. Only two players remaining from Mola Mafia. Malik and Novakane getting two frags. It's a two versus two now. But look at that. No uh, no helmet. Only Kevlar. Could be pretty bad. We see Malik fully, fully geared up, though. Could be good. We'll protect it. Has the opportunity to maybe enter the site. Masya, though. He's a deadly man. Novakane entering the side. Masya taking on Novakane. Malik moves forward. Gets the headshot. One player still remaining. Peaks. Shoots. But loses the fight. Oh, my God. Ottawa. Wow, Mullet Mafia, man. They are, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am I am at a loss for words sometimes, and I have no idea what I'm witnessing, but we are witnessing a uh, the potential of a full best of five. That is ridiculous. Oh, wow. GG, well played so far. That is absolutely insane. Um, I'm, I'm shocked about that. I'm not really got to that point. I don't know how we even moved <laughs> that close. <coughs> wow. It is late, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, uh, I could, it's, it's 11-14. Uh, and we are about to head into the fifth match. I mean, I don't know. This this is this is wild. We've got ourselves Bullet Mafia. Um, actually, so Merciless on the first map. We had Cannels. Merciless picking can Cannels. And Bullet Mafia winning that against Merciless 13-10. to 10. And Then we had Bullet Mafia picking Bureau. Well, Bullet Mafia barely lost 12-13. And now we have Merciless picking Raid, Mullet Mafia winning 13 to 9. And then after that, we have Mullet Mafia picking Soar. And then after picking Soar, they lost 10 to 13. Wow. And now we're heading straight to the decider. Um, that is uh, that is quite a thing. Um, I would I would like to thank you guys, of course, for watching so far. We're probably going to head into a quick break, taking our time off for a little bit and seeing how it will go. I want to thank you all, of course, for uh, for watching so far. And for uh, taking the time to watch today's match. And uh, yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to add to that. Um, we will be seeing a 10-minute break on something like 10 minutes. That's probably what we're, uh, what we're aiming for. And I want to thank you guys again, yet again, for watching so far. Uh, stay seated, because we're going to get straight into the fifth map on Plaza, the decider. See you guys in a bit.
Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Polaris Tournament. My name is Arde, and of course, Bobby here. Uh, he has been speaking a lot, but uh, unfortunately, it's getting pretty late here in Europe. It's currently 11.33, and his parents and his family need to sleep. So I'll be taking it over here uh, for the voice, but he'll still be able to manage his stream in the background. So he's still physically present, but uh, in the meantime, he will not be able to speak, unfortunately. I know you guys will probably miss his voice, but I'll, uh, I'll try my best to fill up the gaps uh, as we go through, as the games are taking quite a, quite a lot of time, which, you know, is fun. It's fun to see that everything is up pretty close. But uh, we're here for a reason. We're here for a reason. We're in the grand finals, and these players are uh, trying to strive for those top prizes. Now, to get through those top prizes, let's just head over and l take a look at what those prizes really are. And, uh, you know, what you can actually, of course, win here. Now, taking a look at the 58th place, we've got 800 credits and five event cases. The fourth place, 1,000 credits and eight event cases. Pretty, pretty good so far. Something nice to have. Even though you're not, like, all the way on the top, you still get some rewards in return. Now, here comes the prize money. You get the third place with 100 US dollars, 1,200 credits, and 12 event cases. The 100 US dollars will be sp uh, spread across all members. Uh, then we got the runner-ups. In this case, the second place, we got uh, 300 US dollars and 1,800 credits and 18 event cases. And then we got the champions getting a whopping 20 event cases, 2,000 credits, and 800 US dollars. Not too bad there. Now, moving over to the map bands, of course, we've got quite a... a Quite a couple map bands to go over. Uh, of course, the first one, um, just a quick checking here who actually won. There we go. So Merciless actually picking candles, starting off with the pick on candles. Mullet Mafia winning that, though, 13 to 10 against Merciless. Then going over to Mullet Mafia picking Bureau, but Merciless winning 13 to 12 against Mullet Mafia. Pretty close matchup. It was a one, one versus two near the vents on Bureau. It was really close. Could have been a, a win for Mullet Mafia by now, a 3 to 1, but Merciless took it by chance or by, by a very close margin. Moving over to the, to the third one, Merciless picking Raid, taking Mullet Mafia 13 to 9, and then Mullet Mafia picking Sore, Merciless gaining a 13 to 10, the match we just saw, which was again, it looked like Mullet Mafia had the momentum, but wow, they really threw it at the, couple, at the last few rounds, and Merciless really gained victory there. So, um, that's kind of what we're rolling with. So, I uh, again, very excited to see how they will uh, improve over time and how they will be able to battle this one out because Mullet Mafia is still holding their ground. I wonder what server we're going to play on. I wonder what the map balance really turned out to be. Uh, and uh, I'm also wondering, I hope you guys are all, of course, kind of locking in your predictions. Who do you think will win this one out? Will it be Mullet Mafia or will it be Merciless on this one? Heading straight or, no, we're not almost. We're kind of getting close to being ready. Uh, but, yeah, no, before we actually are, I'm, I'm seeing, I think it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, five, our tenth member, I think, is about to join. And uh, then we should be able to be ready to go. We're playing on uh, Plaza. I, th I don't know if I said kind of. I think I said Plaza. We're playing on Plaza, and we're gonna have a we're gonna have a solid time with that. Um. So yeah, no Plaza is gonna. It's gonna be nice to see who's gonna win that one out. Uh, we're seeing Mullet Mafia slowly but surely joining into the room. This is gonna be a quite an interesting, um, quite an interesting game. Um. I think we should be ready in just a little bit. Just a little, little, little bit. Um. Joining the sides there. We're just waiting for the members to, of course, do their thing. But in the meantime, you know, lock in your votes. Who do you think is going to win this one out? Type it in chat. Go and discuss it with everyone else watching the stream, of course. Uh, because this is going to be this is going to be quite quite an interesting match. A full bow five. A final. The final matchup. Um, and, of course, uh, one more thing. Just to... Um, I, I wanted to surprise you guys. But it seems like we have quite a lot of time on our hands. So I might as well just let you guys know. Um, we actually have... Um, we actually have, <coughs> we actually have a giveaway at the end of the stream, and uh, that giveaway will be hopping in, or at least at the end of the stream, as in at the end of this match. So when the winner will be announced, so Mullah Mafia Merciless, the winner of this best of three. After that, we will be dropping three more event cases for three more lucky winners. So stay tuned until the end of the game, so you will have a chance at being victorious there. Now, since we are, in fact, still waiting for the last few players to join in, we're just going to go straight, uh, straight over the brackets uh, because, uh, you know, maybe some of you guys have missed uh, who actually performed against who and who had to fight who or, like, what teams had to fight each other to actually reach that spot there on the grand finals. So taking a quick look at those. 
We're looking here at Rain. I don't know if you guys, oh, oh you guys probably, I, I'm sure you guys know Rain. Rain, one of the probably one of the biggest teams so far. But Mold Mafia beating that one out in a two to one in the best of three, and then Merciless winning a two to zero oh against Underestimated. Uh, also, I, I've, I've not, I've not said that, in, uh, said that name in a while now. And they uh, had their little battle there. Rain and Underestimated will be fighting for that third spot now. Mold Mafia and Merciless, of course, in the grand finals. Trying to see who will take that victorious number one spot. That $800 spread across all those members is a very nice prize with those 20 event cases and 2,000 credits. So we're going to see what's going to go down. We'll be seeing a knife on mid. Quick little reset. And we can go. Starting off with the knife on mid. Mullet Mafia and Merciless. Getting themselves ready. <coughs> you can see them starting to knife around. And yeah, a couple knives in there. It looks like the breach will be winning that out. Mold Mafia taking that round. Resetting. Again, nobody's switching sides. No one really, uh, no one really cares that much about that. So, life we go. And off we go with the pistol round, ladies and gentlemen. A couple players pushing here towards cross. We got one moving towards Miz Plaza. What a great way to start off with a solid, small little slow A push. Checking those corners. You never know when they got that stack off from the coalition side. All five in there. And I think you got bigger problems when you're dealing with that. But, oh, look at that. Two on both ends behind the pillars. Breaking the armor as well. Oh, my God. And Ottawa coming in with that headshot on Malik. Oh, this is awful. This is terrible for Mullet Mafia and Merciless. They had such a good setup there on the A side. And uh, they, they got their victory here. Look at that. The bomb is down. Only two players remaining. Merciless fully shutting down Mullet Mafia here. Not giving them a single chance to move forward. Kind of showing them how it's done. We went over to our first round. Going for Merciless. Heading over to the second, the second round. Smoke's going to come down. Cover up that mid area. Flash completely... Uh, Scuff it on my line there. Ottawa able to shut down Shadow. It's a four versus five now. Merciless. They got the eco round on their on their side. They don't have to play too uh, too greedy. They don't have to be too greedy, but at the same time, they also got to make it quick. They got themselves a bomb plan on the B side. How did that happen? How did he move past all of those? Zelo able to get two frags, and we got ourselves a bomb plan. Not too bad here for Mullet Mafia to get back. Bomb has been defused. Get a little combat going. Ourselves three to one almost. Or at least we're going for two to zero. Oh. Not looking, uh, not looking, not looking too bad here. But Mullah Mafia needs to step up their game a little bit. Malik does not want to fully pursue this. Just chilling back, Aki. Slowly making his move. Ourselves a nade coming down. Smoke is still up. The loose the comes in with a the pick there on Malik. My line taking on Exi. Exi quickly gets refragged, but is able to touch that stupid. The nade comes in from Lose towards Aki. Bring it back to a four versus two. And you can see Merciless really holding down their ground here on Plaza and Mullet Mafia. Maybe they're getting tired. I don't know what it is, but Zelo 
is trying to save the day. In the last player standing here for Mullet Mafia. Bomb planted. Bomb planted. And Time comes in with a push. Oh, and so close. Comes in with the 3k. Really trying his best to save Bullet Mafia, but merciless. They will be taking that victory as Ottawa will be the last player standing. Not able to shut that last player down. Very unfortunate, but it will happen. Three to zero, merciless. Going straight into the fourth round, bringing bringing a lot of momentum with themselves. Oh, Xe, going up for a little peek. Taking what's going on, reloading here from Masia. My line, I will shut down Malik. Flash comes in, nade towards Masia. It's a five versus four. Sleepy so coming through. Going back, Masia able to shut down Shadow. And a quick headshot there from Zelo. Not too bad, not too shabby. My line still remaining on the A side, making sure no one's gonna sneak, sneak up and enter. Snoopy does get taken down in that process, Xe. Gets a solid frag on that angle. My line checking up on A long. I see some action there on A short. So far, no pushes. We're taking our time. Ottawa taking on Aki. We can see that aggression finally. My line hiding behind the wall, waiting for that first pre fire to really respond. It's kind of like chess. As white starts, black wins. That's kind of that's kind of like the uh, idea there. Axie. Taking down my line. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Maybe he got a little too aggressive. Maybe he got caught in the fire. He still gets taken down. Moving towards that golden bowl. Bomb has been planting planted. that bomb, bomb on the A site. Because he'll lose Ottawa both. Moving towards mid. Slowly walking down A stairs. And Zelo. Holding tight to that SG. Flash, out. Flash coming in. Still maintaining his position. And as Xe comes in and shuts down to lose. And oh, here comes Xe again. Look at that beautiful double there towards Ottawa as well. Well performed. Very well performed. Which is not something you can uh, you can go wrong with. Looks like we're just like, gonna have to see uh, how this is gonna go out in the long run. Great push coming up here from Shadow and Xe to kick it on both players to lose and Masia. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Anaki coming in with the final one. Ottawa gets shut down. Mullet Mafia still trying to hold their ground here. Still trying to hold their ground. Seven to three here on both on, on the top. Luz and Zelo, both top fragging on either side. And we can see a big, bit more of a difference this time. First, we saw kind of spreading around. They all have like six or five. And now it's, it's pretty clear. He's really dominating so far in these past five rounds. Moving over to the sixth round. We go Merciless Ottawa. We see two members from Merciless pushing B long. Really want to lock down that area. Maybe perhaps have one on apartments. Shadow. Smoke's coming up. Smoke's coming up. Not much to see here. And we got Shadow taking on a lose. Ottawa quickly able to get that refrag on Shadow. He's not getting away with it this time with those crazy kills and those knives we've seen uh, on Soar. Snoopy getting flashed, but still back with his teammates. Hockey. Ooh, he had, he had the setup, but Masio was stronger. He was playing it better there with a the headshot. 
Malik able to get that headshot there in Ottawa. The bomb is down, but they just need to plant it. Malik able to take down Snoopy. Here comes X taking on my line. Can they at least get the bomb plant before they take down the last player? Yes, they do. You want to have that money at least. And now Masia trying to go for that retake. A little bit of an odd position. Not a lot to cover behind. And Malik has the upper hand. Takes him down. 3-3. Three to three. And look at that. Again, the score. It stabilizes like a magnet. This is something we have uh, we've seen time and time again. The score just likes to stabilize like a magnet every single time. Still seven frags on the top. And we can see Zelo is starting to catch up. Masia and Ottawa also wanting to get a little bit more here. I don't know about you guys, but those flashbangs make me blind. <laughs> After seeing them so many times, especially now that it's dark in my room. Starting to uh, starting to blind me. I don't know about you guys at home. I can only imagine the players setting their brightness to max to see all the corners and then getting flashed. Oh, might as well just close your eyes. It's the same thing. Masya, shadow here. Ooh, three versus four as Malik comes in on the B side and takes on a lead. He's just walking around trying to get frags now. Not really a clear goal in mind. Going around trying to get some frags. Now we do see Ottawa. That pick on Aki actually taking on my line. Ottawa comes in quick with that deagle and that third shot. Ottawa. Oh my god. The triple comes in. Four to three. And merciless. Ugh. They got no mercy, that's for sure. Ottawa with a beautiful triple there with the deagle. Leaving no man behind. Masya. Picking up towards a long my line to get a shadow. It's a four versus four now as Zelo comes in and shuts down my line. Luz comes in. Zelo is not as not known to be in the best spot. And now I'm uh, not for sure on this one. Ooh, Ottawa. Not bad. Coming in, taking on Aki. It's a three versus two. Snoopy coming in towards Cross from a long. Trying to get a pick on the side. He's getting close with that pick on the side. But not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. Flash comes through. I'm blind. Snoopy taking on Malik. Nate's coming in. Axi trying to recover from that. Bomb is still on the ground. Ottawa shuts down Axi, and that's it. Merciless. Another round of the board here on the coalition side. Moving over to the ninth round. See a couple, a uh, couple weapons being dropped around. Utility being dropped around. Ten frags here. Ottawa being the first one to hit that. Zelo and Axi also nine and five. We see. Lose at eight. Getting caught up by Ottawa there. Just playing ball game there with the five, and now he's on the ten. Master coming in with the first double. Aki and Xy both get shut down with those SGs. A great start again for Merciless. Wow, they're, I, I can really start to see a shift. Mo Mafia, they need another pause. This time they actually tell us they need a pause, and the pause will be executed in time. For the next round. Zelo. Wow. Double coming out of nowhere there. Mullah Mafia. They're at least trying to end this as a, on, a, on a positive note. But they do need to get the bomb to a bomb site. Malik. It's crucial for you to stay alive. And looks like so far. That will be the case. They're gambling. Or actually betting on the fact that they'll move to A. But there's no reverse psychology today. Not today ladies and gentlemen. Oh Malik. Not too bad. Finding my line. Getting a little aggressive. But he's getting rewarded for it. Now Ottawa trying to find Malik, I'm presuming. Malik already moved all the way back towards head glitch. Now we can see Ottawa still waiting behind that smoke. Zelo. Ottawa wants to make the move. Wants to make the move. We can see a flash coming through on the other side. Malik's getting a little aggressive. And he's pushing, but he's, 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 being, he's being pushy, but he still gets the frag. It doesn't matter.
Round is paused for Mold Mafia. They're still able to at least get that round on the board. That is important. Take a look at the scoreboard. 10 to 5. 10 to 4. 10 frags on both ends. And the game resumes. It seems. We're probably still waiting. We're still waiting. I am trolling, guys. Eight to seven on both Bastian to lose. Oh, look, looking pretty good. I do see Aki falling behind though. Usually Aki's performing pretty well. Maybe not on. Maybe not on Plaza. Maybe not on Plaza. Not today. Some shots coming in. Still wandering their cross. This best of five, you know, I, I've, I've I've had some full best of five. I've had a full best of five before. That's been, uh, I don't know if you guys remember it a while ago uh, when we actually used to have 60 rounds, Max. Oh, God. We even had one thing that was uh, that was made in the wrong way. There were, there were, I don't think there were enough rounds. I think it was some kind of mistake. Oh, wow. That took me, I think that took us like six hours. Another pause, but this time from Merciless. Very interesting. Zelo taking on Masia. Two versus two. Shadow, walking around with a sniper, getting quite aggressive. So far, no frags, though. Or I might have missed them. Z load or entering the site with the bomb. Bomb has been planted. Not too bad, Zelo, not too bad. Reloading that SG. Sticking to the to the bomb site here with Shadow. Yeah, uh, one shot here with Yogg, and it comes through. Snoopy taking our shadow, Zeal taking our Snoopy. Flash comes in, Zeal, oh, trying to hold back, not trying to be too aggressive here. See that push coming in from Sh Shadow, or from Zeal? Comes in, and look at that headshot towards Ottawa. Round is paused, 5-5. Five to five. Again, the magnet, the magnet theory. It, uh, it tends to always be right for some reason, huh? A quick on pause. Zelo 13 to 5. But Ottawa 10 to 5. Look at that. Getting ahead by such an amount. You can see the astronomical. There's a way bigger range in effort. Way bigger range in performance on Mullet Mafia. But on Merciless, it's a little bit more balanced in comparison to Mullet Mafia. Mm, Shadow, there we go. We see sniper kill. We see Aki moving forward, taking out Snoopy, getting aggressive, getting a little, a little cheeky. Finally, uh, deciding to move back and not be too cheeky about it. Malik, shut down my line. The lose coming in with a takedown on Exi. Ooh, 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 Malik is not letting this slide for too long. Bomb has been planted. And Ottawa is coming in to take down Malik. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad here from Mullet Mafia. We do see Merciless coming in with a replacement. And actually, we've seen him before. Vape. Coming in to replace... Someone. Someone's having issues. Maybe Snoopy. Maybe Snoopy gets to perform pretty good. Or My Line. We have seen My Line get out of here a couple times. Yeah, we are waiting for them to finish their side. Someone has to go to bed. Someone has to do something. It's to be the case. I think it might be my line. It's pretty damn late here in Europe. We're entering the midnight territory for us here in Europe. And then my line getting taken down here by Aki. Malik comes and taking out the lose. It's a two versus five. I wish you could bring over the economy. That would make it even more fair. Flash coming through. A couple of shots here with the Yogg. And it looks like Mullet Mafia will be clearing up the round. And now it looks like Snoopy, in fact. Okay. So it is, in fact, Snoopy. 7-5. to five. Quick takedown there. And it looks like the, uh, the sides have swapped with Merciless now on the uh, Breach side. And uh, Mullet Mafia on the Coalition side.
and there we go, Merciless. Hold up Mafia. Hold up Mafia will be taking the collision side. And uh, enjoy it. Taking the time, but look at that push there. Out of nowhere. No one taken down yet. A lot of aggression with these pistols, but no, uh, no, uh, concrete push, no concrete idea so far here with Vape, just randomly joining on the second half. It's all, like, perfectly timed. Maybe he's, maybe he, you, know, you never know, guys. Maybe it's, maybe it's a, st a strategic thing. Maybe he's better at being aggressive. Hmm? Breach side, you know? You have the option to do something. Why not? Right. They're going to auto Ottawa. See a five versus three. Oh, Mullet Mafia is shredding them apart. What an absolute takedown. And Zelo, what's going on with them and, uh, and backstabs nowadays? Oh, my line. Poor guy. One HP. This A little feather can kill him right now. Oh, okay. Okay, Zelo. All right. All right, Zelo. I know you like your economy. I know you've learned a lot from Shadow. He's been a great tutor. And I'm sure that you have quite a lot of money now to, to, to spend. <laughs> <laughs> well played so far by Mullah Mafia. They got themselves uh, quite, uh, quite the head start now. That pissed around, and now the, uh, this round as well. That's nine rounds. I'm assuming the Ecos tend to be a uh, high percentage chance to win uh, in the favor of the team that won the pistol. And we see that eight headshot and woof, vape. Not even standing, uh, not even... Not even having time to play the game, man. He just joined. He just joined. Just joined the game and Shadow just comes across and uh, starts shooting. Starts shooting around. Wins. Takes that first pick. Okay, we do see Ottawa getting one takedown, but that's about it. Mullah Mafia, and there we go. A pretty sweep. Little eco round. Bringing it to a 9-5. to five. Oh, wow. This gives me that, uh, that American uh, work culture. 9-5. to five. Do you want to work a 9-5? to five? Man, the scores, the scores already making me think about uh, geopolitical situations. <laughs> so funny how such a small thing can uh, bring so many different ideas into your brain. Anyways, to go back to the match, we see a few shots coming in. The smoke. Masha taking out XE. Zelo and XE. Ooh, that's quite the refrag there for... And there we go. Vape. I keep thinking about the word levy. I don't know why. Three versus three, Aki, still waiting there in uh, in apartments. This is t this t this is tends to be quite a strong hold. If you can get there as a coalition player, get there pretty quick. It is nice to nice to keep holding that. And it tends to be uh, tends to be maintained, especially if you're uh, the only player that needs to hold the B side apartments. It tends to be the way to go. Can be uh can be used as a surprise, but often the best hiding spot is often the worst just because of how good it is <laughs> i don't know if you guys know that saying oh my line smoke. i wanted to move further this year smoke flash zero Oh, my line. That's deadly there with the SG. Taking on Zelo, Malik, taking on Masya. And again, Ottawa, my line as well, Malik. Wow, Mullah Mafia, you got yourself a deadly demon there. Malik gets a solid triple there right on the site. 10 to 5, and I feel like that magnet just stopped working. 10 to 5. Oh, that is rough. That is rough. Mullah Mafia. Make it a uh, make it a quite quite painful so far. Throwing a grenade as well, Zelo. Getting on my line, Ottawa. And here there goes again. I thought about Levy, but it's not Levy. It's Vape. Vape. Getting shut down, Masia as well. It looks like we're we're going through some eco frags here, but no, Elu still has the AK. And look at them, they're just pushing and rushing and rushing with the coalition side. Mullet Mafia, being good at being aggressive, being good at playing on Plaza. Maybe they should have picked the map. Who knows? Hmm? Maybe they should have picked the map. Maybe they should have picked the map. Just a small little hint. 
instead of Sora. They seem to be pretty, pretty good here on Coalition Spawn. After such a long game, you must understand, like, coming this far, this far and letting Mullet Mafia take it away that easy? Letting them take it away that easy? You gotta let them push all the way there? Just to get those rounds? Would you really let them do that? Is the question. Would you really let them do that? I wouldn't let them do that. Let's see if Merciless will allow. Here comes Zelo, able to shut down Ottawa. Pretty good start again, Mullet Mafia. Trying to lock down Merciless, put them into their place. We see, oh, this is not ideal. Completely stuck in the air there with Vape. Malik shutting him down, bringing it back to a five versus three. Man, Vape is, is underperforming extremely. He just swapped in and he's already, he's already not having a great time here. My line. Coming and taking a shadow. Quick refrag there from Aki. Xe also able to shake down Mosia. It is uh, Luz who's still standing. Able to shut down Xe. One versus three. He has the bomb. He has the opportunity. And another headshot. There goes Malik. If he shuts down Aki here. Ooh, that would be juicy. That would be a juicy combat. Come on, get the headshot. There you go. There you go. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm, sh I'm, I'm vouching for a Luz. <laughs> He's moving in with the 3K. He's got the bomb. Can this be the magical clutch? The magnet, no! Uh, <coughs> no! I lose! So close. So close. It's like getting a 9.9 .9 on your test. Might as well just give him a 10. Come on, just give me a 10. 12 to 5. God, Mullah Mafia. We have not seen them be able to push this far into uh, oblivion. I think we've only seen it on the first map. What a way to play. Look at that. Masya and Vape. Already both of them getting taken out. Eluz is really trying to hold it together, though. Eluz is really trying to play here. Ottawa getting taken out. Eluz gets taken out, and look at that. Wins. Merciless. GG. Well played. Your grand finals. Winners. Mullet Mafia. What a fast ending there. What a fast ending. This is not something you see too often, but congratulations to your winners. Mullet Mafia, your grand final winners. What a way to end it off. That is, uh, that is quite a, quite a, quite a way to do it. I'm, um, I to, of course, thank uh, to thank Marcellus for, of course, participating. They've been holding on for so long. And, of course, those final rounds were rough. They're rough. They got taken down. They almost clutched it out. Oh, it, there, there was just so much happening there at the end. Uh, but to summarize it all, it, it, it is unfortunate. It is unfortunate that we did not see a close map there. Uh, but these are your winners, man. Mullet Mafia, your grand final winners. 3-2 to two in this full best of five. I have to thank Merciless for participating, man, all the way through. Of course, at the end, when there was just one player remaining, they left. But other than that, thank you guys for, of course, pushing it all the way through to the very end. And uh, you guys definitely deserve, at, at the very least, your second place spot. And um, it, I know, I know it hurts. It hurts. You want to get, get that first place spot. You want to get those 800 US dollars. You want to you want to make it. That, you want to get that big victory, um, but that that's that's as far as you're gonna go. Mullah Mafia is gonna stop you at your place, and he's gonna put you right back on that second uh, that second spot. So thank you all, of course, for watching. Thank you, Mullah Mafia. Thank you, Merciless, for all participating. Before we're gonna end this off, we're gonna quickly show you guys um, the final image and things off. You guys an overview of what actually happened. You can see a rain of Mullet Mafia they performed against each other. One to, to two to one. And now look at that Mullet Mafia. Three to two against Merciless. Completely destroying, Ooh. taking down underestimated, going into the grand finals. P positivity. And even with Mullet Mafia, even without Volgren for four matches. <laughs> even without Volgren. Even without damn Volgren. They were able to win out three to two. Congratulations, Mullet Mafia. Now we're gonna end it. we're gonna end things there. We're gonna be doing a quick um a quick giveaway. Uh, we're going to be doing three more cases. Um, but I think that one will be done on uh, the X account. On X. So if you guys follow... Uh, if you guys follow X. The X account. Of, uh, the Polaris champions. Of course, for, for the Polaris community tournament. Uh, make sure you guys follow them. They're, they're, I'm pretty sure there is Polaris GG on Twitter. That's their name. 
Uh, I'm sure it's somewhere in the description. And if you guys have questions, of course, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure some mods will be dropping it in there. Uh, so it's uh, lower lowercase Polaris GG. Um, if you guys want to find it, there will be a giveaway there again for the event cases. So you guys can give them a follow there. Go give them a like. Go give them a retweet, a retweet. Go support them there. Um, and I think for the final minutes, I want to thank Bobby for having me here. I want to thank myself for having myself here. <laughs> That's such a egotistical thing to say, but uh, no, I really enjoyed being here. Thank you. Um, uh, I think it's Eco Eco Desta Eco. Um, hold on a second. I got streamer mode enabled. Eco Dynasty. Uh, thank you for having me here uh, for the tournament. And um, yeah, thank you, Bobby, of course, for having me here. And uh, yeah, you can see he's moving around. He's, he wants to make a lot of noise, but he's got family that's sleeping, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we'll be ending it off here. Thank you all, and uh, <laughs> have a great day. Bye-bye.